Guess what, guys? You can now have your very own set of little baby men. Yeah. Look at yeah. these all. Look at, Ricky, look at that. And you can have them all in a little Trash Taste plushie bag as well. So if you want to get your very own little baby man and Trash Taste plushie to go with it, make sure to smash that link in the description down below. Ready? Yep. <laughs> it's only been a week. I forgot how to start this shit. Yeah, just because you haven't got your Rubik's Cube with you. Do I have to hold my Rubik's Cube? <laughs> did you, did you What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I'm Joey, and I'm with Gun Connor, as always. And we haven't done an episode in a week, and I already forgot how to start one of these. I, I don't know. It feels like, it feels weird because even though, well, you've done a lot this past week. I have, yeah. But I took like a nice little like three day break. Yeah. And then for some reason, like, do you ever got, do you ever, do you guys ever feel like if you get off the grind for just one or two days, you just forget how to work? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I come back home and I'm like, all right. And then I just sit on my desk and I'm like, oh, I, I get more motivated to get back in the grind. I'm like, I'm like doubly charged. After oh no, I get that sometimes as well. But like, if it's especially after like a long, cause you know, we've been on the grind for quite a while now because we're, yeah. you know, preparing for the tour. Yeah. You know, which I mm. guess by the time this episode has gone up, should have finished by yeah. now, yeah, I think. Yeah. But as, as of us right now, we're still preparing for the tour. So we have to make a crap load of episodes for you guys. Um, and it's been, you know, a really busy month. And then suddenly, because of Connor's thing, we were just like, all right, uh, you got a week off. And I'm just, I remember like the first day I was just like, what do I do? <laughs> like, I, I, it's, isn't it sad? I've almost forgotten how to take a day off. Yeah. Because I, I, t I told myself, okay, I'm gonna take a day off. Yeah. In reality, I did not take a day off. Yeah. I just worked less. <laughs> cause, cause like what happened is uh, since, since we've been back from like, you know, just, uh, convention season and everything yeah. like that. We've had to like film basically four episodes a week. Mm. We got like one episode, one stream, but then another two episodes another day. Um, and then Connor, That's Connor. Three. Yeah, that's three, I guess. Basically, well, I, like, I, 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 I just, I just, you know, I mean, um, technically, technically, a stream is an episode because that goes okay, on the okay, after okay, dark okay, channel. Yeah, you know? okay, four episodes. Three, so I count as four episodes. Okay, fair enough. But uh, you know, Connor did something incredible. You know, thank congratulations you. to you, you Connor. GG's fucking three hundred k giga Chad right here. It's gonna here. be out like. Ages from now. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> just, just to, just to date this episode. But then I guess because yeah. they'll be like, when is Connor going to talk about it? I guess like yeah, now, kind of. I guess like seven yeah. episodes yeah. later. It's like, wow, all right. Like, damn, Connor is like yeah. not talking about this. Thing. It's yeah. weird. Like, what the hell's wrong deal, with right? it? Like, you talk about it. <laughs> yeah, and then so we had like a week off trash taste, and as soon as, as soon as, as like that was like, I guess announced. Yeah. Sydney was like, we're booking something. We're booking something now. <laughs> Fill up the schedule. This is this is our time now. And so, uh, Fair enough. so yeah, we went your, away. Your side job kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> my marriage kicked in. <laughs> my but third, my you, third you job. You finally have no excuse now. So yeah. he's like, what are you doing? Ah, uh, again, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we uh, took a nice few days off, and then I, I don't know why, because I feel like with holidays, there's like there's like a perfect time where I'm able to like recharge, mm. reset everything. I feel like that's a week. I need to take like a week off, yeah, in order to like get like the grind back. You know, mm. get get like the motivation to get to grinding again. If it's like one or two days, I've noticed with like the YouTube grind, it's just it throws you off your schedule or throws off mm. like this uh, momentum that you have. I don't know, it's, it's really weird for me. Do you have like a schedule every day? I, um, now that I have like a second channel and a streams and stuff, Ooh. I actually Ooh. do. Ooh. Yeah. First uh, time gone. Uh, yes, yeah. first, first time, time, okay, first time. <laughs> it's almost like it's a real job. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird having a schedule now, just uh, just waking up and being like, oh shit, I've got stuff I need to mm. do. And uh, it's 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 weird. It's, this, mm. this has been a very weird, time for me guys. I know I'm like transitioning. I know uh, transitioning. I remember when I was just like one channel is like more than too much. One channel is too yeah, much. Yeah. And now it's, it's just, just like- just about placing your efforts in the right place, you know? Yeah. But make sure you're working on the things that you need to be working on. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's also just, I, I find it easier to work on things I'm passionate on. So when I'm, passion, when I'm passionate <laughs> in Genshin, then, uh, then I find so, it hard to concentrate on anything else. So what know? happens to your second channel when you get like bored of Genshin? 
just like dis- dis- just disappear. All content vanishes. Like, all, right, all right, guys. I just, I just delete the channel. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a classic gigic move and yeah. disappear for half a year. Yeah. <laughs> Taking see, a break. I'll see you guys when they update the game. Yeah. <laughs> Later. You, know, you know, I haven't thought that far ahead, but maybe by the time this video diversify, comes out- Diversify, Gaunt, diversify. It's, it's, it's weird because like, I, I'm like in, my, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I know I need to diversify. I yeah. should make more yeah. content. <laughs> Genshin, but also I'm just addicted to playing Genshin. So I'm like, either I either I don't play it, uh, either I don't stream it and play it, or I stream it and play it. Well, you so. can't quit now because you're literally the biggest Genshin streamer on Twitch. Are you? Are you? Is there no one who gets more views? I don't know. I mean, you're you're pulling some pretty crazy numbers it's, right it, now. It, keep, it keeps growing right now. The numbers and yeah. uh, I don't I don't, I don't know because all the Genshin players yeah. are like, finally yeah. some fresh meat. You guys, you guys want to join in? You guys? Well, no, no. Because people, people stream Gacha and they're like, man, this grows is awesome. And then they get to a point like, wait, hold on, I don't wanna play this game anymore. Can you guys still stick around? They're like, see ya. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah. And they're gone. Then everyone's like, wait, what? Wait, wait, you weren't watching for me? It's all good. It's all good. I'll just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good. good. It's all good. Out. Okay, Hoy- Hoyer verse will release their next game, and then uh, that's that's uh, that's more free content. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still relate. I'm still waiting for the Star Rail release. Like, you know? verse. Yes, thank you for the next game. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you like that meme of like the guy feeding the creature? Yeah. Like, thank you for the content. <laughs> thank you for the content. <laughs> Other games do not exist. <laughs> Oh man. Well, I guess. Uh, do you want to do you want to talk about your your achievement then, Gon? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel weird. Being, I want to. I, I hate it when you're like, congratulate me. Yeah, con- me congr- congratulations, Gon. Well, I mean, you know, it was, a bit, it was, a, it was a, as, as selfless as it was selfish. I did. Mm-hmm. I did a lot of the reason I did it because <laughs> I wanted to do it. You know? Well, yeah. Because I, 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 I'm not going to sit here and be like, dude, I just wanted to do a charity event. This, I just wanted to do this, and I was like, oh wait, this makes perfect sense to be a Might charity. Might as well thing. be a charity. Yeah. Event, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like a lot of the times some events come along, you're like, this just makes way more sense. It's gonna be more fun for everyone. It's gonna be way better if it's not just for me. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Cause it's like, yeah. all right, you know, I, 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 thinking back, I'm like, how could it, oh, sorry, I should probably explain what I did. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> it's probably been a while. I'm sure, for, people, yeah. maybe, I'm sure most people watching this know, uh, I cycled across Hokkaido with Chris, um, 750 kilometers or something. Woo. Nice. Like over how, 500 miles. And how yeah. much? Uh, how much did you raise? You raised over three hundred sixteen thousand dollars. Nice. Yeah, that's the Immune uh, Deficiency Foundation. Hell that's yeah! Fucking crazy. incredible. I mean, man. two things that shocked me when I saw that tweet about yeah. when you guys finished. One was. Like obviously, the amount of money you guys <laughs> raised, which is crazy. Yeah. And two, the fact that Chris survived. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so I, you know, obviously, spoiler alert: Chris is going to come on the podcast again. So I, yeah. I, I'll, I'll talk about it mainly from like I suppose my perspective and yeah. the stuff that I was dealing with. Because right. I'll let Chris talk about the other stuff. How, and, how oh. he dealt with his. Problems. I mean, uh, you know, Chris is credit on the on le- le- later days. Chris was doing better than me. I was right. really. I, I, yeah. I mean, I was like powering through the first few days. Mm. I was doing great. Chris was having a miserable time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then you know. A lot of the time with cycling and stuff, like you learn, you learn a lot of things mm-hmm. when you do it days in a row. Like I feel like the Shin Nami Kaido, we didn't actually learn anything about cycling. No, of course not. Cause you just do it and you're done. And like, you can, yeah. you can, you could cycle for a day with a shit bike and not know, like, cause all of our seats and everything was completely wrong. Well, we, we yeah. learned how not to cycle. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, like the number one comment on the on our cycling special was like, you guys know like your seat was too, we didn't know. No, Clearly we didn't, we, didn't know. Know. we know nothing about We're it. We're not cyclists. Yeah. And you know, like, so like to put it into perspective, like the Shinami Kaido, uh, the thing that we did was like 75K. Yeah, mm-hmm. But we might as well have done it on a tricycle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, like, it was literally a clown bike yeah. that we were riding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like, uh, I think, on average, we were doing 100 plus kilometer days, mm. mm-hmm. uh, like every single day. And there's like one day where we did like 65, but, but even then like the weather conditions change the cycling. So right. Much. right, right, right. Cause you guys are up in the mountains and you know, I feel oh, yeah. it changes all well, the yeah. time, right? And then I got this fucking backpack on my back. So mm. I, 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 you know, when I quit, cause the reason why this happened, I'm mm. sure we'll talk about this even more again when Chris comes on. But yeah. Chris was, you know, lamenting to me about how he wants to get fit and stuff. And I was like, bet, let's actually do something <laughs> yes. like, Let's let's do something. Like, yeah. Let's do something crazy. Yeah, uh, and I was like, I really want to go to Hokkaido mm. again because why? Why the fuck? It's like your favorite place yeah. in Japan. I just, I just love Hokkaido. I was Honestly, like, yeah. I think it's my favorite. Yeah, place it's, in it's, Japan fucking, as well. it's awesome. Yeah, and yeah. I, I wanted to do something that would be pretty tough. Mm. Yeah, so I thought let's cycle I, again. Like on a map, I, I think about this. I'm like 500 miles. I'm like, oh, easy. Mm. I can do that because mm. like c- cycling is tough, but ultimately 
if you just wake up early, mm. it's not that hard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 so, wait. So, no, no, so I don't, what you're I'm saying not. is, <laughs> wait, wait, wait can, can, can you expand? Listen, on listen, <laughs> if you want to do cycling, like cycling, cycling, yeah. like you want to get places and like actually do it good. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you don't have to wake up that early. So what you're saying <laughs> the is- The secret to winning Tour de France yeah, is just- isn't, like, isn't about training, no, it's then, about rice listen, and listen, shine. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Cause cycling, right? What, what, there is like, you can cycle. And you can cycle at a pace that mm. pretty much uses like your, you don't go out of breath. You don't really use your muscles that much. It's kind of like your natural rhythm. Just coasting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you just, your natural pace that's comfortable for you mm. on like a flat road. Mm. That'll get you to your place if you've set a reasonable distance. Like, Yeah, I was gonna ask like, were the majority of the roads flat? You reckon? Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure there were some inclines. Yeah, right? but, I mean, yeah. Um, sometimes you get lucky and it'd be flat, but then- But I mean, like, I'm talking like, cause my only other point of <laughs> reference is the Shimonami Kaido, right? Yeah, I mean, there were some brutal hills. I mean, yeah. like you've you've driven on the roads in Japan, right? Yeah, and yeah. Sometimes the roads just don't end. Yeah. yeah. And they go up. Like yeah. there was the worst one, we had a few really bad ones, but the, the worst one was it was um, seven kilometers just uphill. Right. <sighs> <laughs> you can imagine yeah. how long that took. And then it was like seven kilometers downhill, which right. is like fucking epic and yeah. hype. And then you're like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah. Cause it just does, it literally just doesn't stop. Right. Yeah. But it's crazy. Cause like that kind of like elevation, it's like we started at the ocean. And right. then as you're, cl you're climbing up at some points you can see the ocean mm. and you are crazy high up. Right, like, right. I think it was like, uh, it was like 500 meter incline, incline. Up, yeah, 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 which is just like crazy to yeah. think that you can just like bike up that. I don't know, I learned a lot. Mm. I learned that your bike seat height matters a lot. <laughs> I had mine, um, so, cause you have to, oh dude as well. Another thing that I, I guess that would be fun to talk about. Dude, trying to get your bike, like transport it yeah. is a nightmare. Really? Well, because how do you how do you? Oh uh, yeah, because I guess you. How do you get a bike on a plane? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. didn't know this shit. How, how, yeah. did you, how do you get a bike you on go. a plane? Well, okay. Okay. Well, okay. So you can get a bike. Turns out it's not that hard. Yeah. Um, I this is it just like check in or? Yeah, you just check is it in. just oversized yeah. luggage? Yeah, it's in like the special luggage. Oh, okay. Right. So you just like go up to the counter and but you have to pack your bag, which is a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, you have to pack the bicycle. Um, like so, Chris, I was lazy. And I bought a bag that you just take the front wheel off. It's super mm. fucking easy. You just, mm -hmm. just, just, just comes off and then you strap everything in place. Right. And I think to get on the plane, ANA recommended deflating the tires so it doesn't pop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it'll actually like pop though, but I, I just did it anyway. Yeah. yeah. And then you will shove it in a bag. I, I'm, I'm vastly overestimating this. It took like an hour to do this and you get oil everywhere. It's so shit. I hate this. <laughs> And then you just check it in. And then the whole time on the plane, you're panicking. Cause you're like, this is a carbon fiber bike. It's going to break. Mm. And it's like, everything's going to fucking go wrong. And right, it's right. fucking terrible. And even then I like going back before that, it's like, all right, I don't, I don't own anything to cycle. Mm. Do you own anything to cycle? Well, not since the Shimonami Kaido. But we bought like the shittiest, shittiest Amazon basic stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was just like, how cheap can we go to it cycle one this day. amount? It was one day. It was one yeah. day, right? yeah, yeah. I, exactly. I still use those pans when I'm on the room bike. <laughs> Like when I'm at home, <laughs> do you actually? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it's because it's still padding on my ass, and, and you know how Wait, shit. Aren't the exercise bikes like really well padded? I mean, they are, but like you know, if you're on that thing for like an hour or two, which I usually am, yeah. then like yeah. after a while, you're just no. like, fuck, man. My uh, look, I've got no meat on my ass, all right. <laughs> so after a while, it just like goes directly to my bones, and I'm just like, my pelvis is screaming. You just after have to a while. get used to that. Though. Yeah, of course. Like, of course. Like, you're also like dummy thick back there. So yeah, you I are. think it makes it worse though. What? <laughs> You think so? The dummy, thing, dummy yeah, thing. Yeah. Well, okay. So like, this is cause we, again, I mentioned offhandedly to Chris. So like, I, I guess I'll go through the timeline. Mm, I don't yeah. know if this is interesting. I don't know if it is or not, whatever. Mm. I mentioned to Chris, I was like, let's do this. I want to do this. Why yeah. the fuck not? Yeah. And I thought like Chris would say no. Mm. Cause you know, when you have a crazy idea mm. and you're like, it's crazy if I say it to someone and they say no immediately. Yeah. Like, mm. Cause then you're like, okay, I guess it is crazy. But if, yeah. someone, if you say a crazy idea to someone, they're like, okay. You're like, oh. Maybe it's not that insane. Right. <laughs> Maybe we can like do this. Yeah. And so I was like, you get a video. I'll live stream the whole thing. Mm. I didn't know. And then he was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then I was like, wait, shit. What if, is there signal in like Wack and I? Cause I remember when we drove, mm. yeah. there was no signal no. in some parts. No. And I was like, wait, shit, can I actually do this? Wait, how do I keep everything cool? Wait, how do I run it for 10 hours in a backpack? <laughs> I need to buy a bike. How do I charge my phone? Like, how do I read chat? I, I, oh, I also want to do this thing. It was just right. like, I agreed to do it. And then there was a billion things I had to figure out. Mm. Yeah. And it was just, oh my God, it was awful, awful. I didn't know how to buy anything. I didn't know what to buy. Mm. 
who does I don't know anyone who cycles in Japan. Mm. Yeah. And so I just started asking around these great guys who've been helping me with a lot of IRL streaming stuff. Mm -hmm. I just kind of messaged them. I was like, hey, how do I um how do I how do I check if I can stream in this place? Mm. And they were like, oh, just go and check out like cell towers. So I, I'm like, yeah, sick. I open up a map of cell towers. And I was like, none. Right. It was like <laughs> for like three days. There's yeah. like no cell phone towers. Right. They were like, all right, but maybe, maybe if you like go along this really specific road and stay on this road, you can do it. But you need to go to Docomo and, and get like Docomo Sims. Yeah. Yeah. So Docomo is like the old government cell phone company. Yep. So a lot of the rural areas in Japan. Uh, I'm mainly like Docomo. Yeah. I was like, fuck, okay, right. So now I gotta go and get two more phone contracts and buy mm. two new modems and figure out how that's gonna happen. And then I was like, wait, my my bag is like shit for cycling. So I asked like Rob, Rob DC, mm. great streamer. He helped me out, mm. came to my house, told me what to buy. Dude, Rob is a goat. So yeah. I actually got the idea from Rob. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he did a cycling thing as well. Yeah, right? this, again, this yeah. is going even more back. Rob did a stream where he cycled across Japan for like 30 days. I think it was from Tokyo to Kyushu somewhere. Right? And, and like back. And back, yeah. yeah like, he's, a, he's, he's actually a madman. <laughs> yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, he, man. He, you know, uh, cause it was a, it was a cycle-a-thon, sub -a So every time yeah. someone yeah. sobbed, the sub, the, the thing went higher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't wanna do that. Yeah. I just wanna like, I just wanna like do this. I just wanna... give me a beginning and end point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that's what we did, and uh, you know, credit to him, really nice guy, helped me out with it a bunch because yeah. you know yeah. a lot of people are like, hey, I kind of want to do what you did. Can you give me advice and help mm. me out? A lot of people would be like, no, no, that's my yeah, idea. I did uh, that. Don't steal that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, so I he was that. like, he, you know, uh, super helpful. We mm. did. He even helped me do like a test stream. Mm -hmm. We tested the bag out. It did not work properly. It was like overheating. Right. The next day he was like, dude, don't worry, I got you. I'll come over. We'll install a fan in your bag. Yeah. So we we installed a PC fan in my bag oh my <laughs> to cool my bag. So while you're I'm basically riding. carrying a towel. I'm, I'm your literally bag. carrying like you got a I'm, PC tower. Yeah, you got a PC right? tower. Yeah, so yeah. like I'm carrying like and again another another problem. It's like I have this like it's just every time I would would do something. Uh, this is how stressful it was. Just another problem would come up. Yeah, of like, course. Cool. Okay, so I have this bag with four modems, uh, live broadcasting tool, and now it's got a PC fan. How the fuck do I power all this? I need a really big battery. Mm. Turns out the really big battery can't go on the plane to go to Wakana. <laughs> so then I have to call up the hotel and I'm like, hey, can I ship a, some stuff to your hotel? Right. And they were like, yeah, all good. So that was all, okay, problem, problem avoided. Yeah. Had to yeah. buy a new battery, like a $300 battery, 50,000 yep. milliamp battery. It's like, it's literally it's, the it's, one you it's have. It's the fucking uh, it's, camping one, right? It's like, th <laughs> it's like, thing five, that can it's like <laughs> five kilograms. Yeah. And it's like, fuck, this is on my back. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, okay, so so we have all these problems. So I, I had to lay everything out in the bag, like with Velcro, mm, so yeah. it's all evenly distributed. So then right. it's not just weighing me down and killing my bag. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, done. So then I'm like, all right, now I need a bike. <laughs> Whoa, do you, I'm telling you, man, one of the hardest things on earth is trying to figure out a good bike yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. It is like, when you look online, it's like, what is good bike? And it's literally like, I bought this Tour de France bike for $15,000. It's pretty good. But if you want a more budget option, we've got a 9K bike here for amateurs. And it's like, what the fuck is any of it's this? It's like literally every time I try and buy a new camera. It's like, yeah. it's like <laughs> cyclists yeah. are so like insular with their like suggestions and oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, these sunglasses, they kind of deflected the micro wind, uh, you know, in like a 0 <laughs> 0.3, you know, and the, and the UV uh, with the 0 0.3. It's like, uh, speak English. It was just like, I just didn't understand anything yeah, yeah, about yeah. cycling. Yeah. And um, there's a guy called uh, Josh in Japan who was really great and he helped me out. And he basically, he cycles a ton in Japan. Mm -hmm. Just gave me all the suggestions, told me to, what pants to bought. I bought new cycling pants that had like- uh, Straps. Straps that went over. They were, they were awesome. Yeah. They were great. I like didn't chafe at all. It was great. They stayed up. All the yeah. peeing was a pain in the ass. Cause I have to take my shirt off every time I want to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it was so expensive because I bought like a pretty good bike. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a bike. It was called Cannondale Synapse 3L. It's like a $4,000 bike. Right. Yeah. I was like, government, if you're listening, I'm never riding it ever outside of this one charity event. Um, so it's a tax write off. Please. <laughs> please. Please. But yeah, so it was just like a month of crazy prep and getting everything ready. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. just hoping. Like, how do you test this? Like, mm. I can't go to Wakanai in the middle of nowhere in Hokkaido and test yeah. if this works. Yeah, exactly. So like I'm shitting myself. Yeah. And I'm in, I'm in like in basically like pseudo Russia in yeah, Japan. You're, you're yeah. in the middle of nowhere. And like just day one, you're like, you turn everything on and you just hope it works. And yeah, something's broke right away. Mm. And you're like, shit, like our tires, we didn't like inflate them properly. Mm. And then um, stuff wasn't working. And, and I had to, um, 
So another thing is that it was for charity yep. and I wanted there to be text to speech on yeah. my speaker for all the donations coming oh. through. Cause I thought that'd be fun. I mean, yeah, like yeah, incentivize exactly. people. And also I'm gonna be cycling like all day, like nine hours. Gotta have something to keep your mind occupied. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep my mind like numb. Yeah. And um, so like, turns out that uh, the charity service I was using Tiltify just doesn't let you do text to speech in any way. Really? There's no way you can do text to speech oh. with it. Uh, through like stream labs yeah. or, yeah, yeah. or um, stream elements or anything, it, it doesn't work. And uh, so shout out to stream elements and my, uh, one of my mods. I just asked them, I was like, hey, could you make something? Could you just program something that will read text to speech? So both of them made things. So stream elements just made a, a plugin just for this charity event. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that I could have charity donations come out on the speaker. Right. Right. Made it in like three days. Shout out to them. Jesus. Dude, man. so many people helped. Like, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like my mod who's just, uh, Road, who's awesome, who manages our subreddit as well. Mm, right. He made like a live tracking thing. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, I can't really use this in day, like normal streams because I don't want everyone to know. Yeah, you're literally, yeah, literally right. doxing yourself. <laughs> right. He's literally like doxing where I am, like yeah, 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 yeah. in real time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, Make sure you don't accidentally show that yeah, on your next stream. Right. <laughs> but it's sick though, right? Because it's like I thought, like okay, again, like another issue is like how how do you make nine hours of cycling? Engaging, yeah, because yeah. like it, that shit's boring. Mm. Like I, I wouldn't watch it. Mm. Yeah, but it's like okay, so you have you have the narrative of the the charity and the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. And and the journey. Mm -hmm. and that's one, but that's that's not really like like you can't, if you if you miss day one, you maybe you don't care about that mm. as much. Yeah, it's like so. I was like, okay, I really want to have some kind of like progress bar or tracker on the screen. Mm. Yeah, uh, and I just you know three weeks before the event, I asked my mods. I was like, hey, can you can we try and make something? And yeah, they made it. Uh, mm. It took. It was like pulling hair testing this app. Mm. It was like every night they were like, can we, can we test it again? And I just sat there for an hour and they were like, type this on Android editor. Mm. And I was like, dude, it's broken. It doesn't work. <laughs> and like hours, hours, hours. Yeah. It just took yeah. so long. But then you get this cool result where you get this progress bar that tells you how far I am from the destination. Mm. A little yeah. monkey on the map mm. and a little animation. So that was and a then, custom app that was made? Yeah, yeah. It's, it was a custom app called Find My Monkey that they made. <laughs> wow. Um, it was like literally like every morning before the cycle, I would zoom in on where I was, put start, zoom out, go to where we were gonna finish, put yeah. end. Yeah. And it would just do like a geographical straight line. Yeah. Which wasn't like perfect. Cause some days people would be like, wow, what an easy day. We have 60, but then the route was like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it was actually like 120 and people right. were like, wow, he's moving so slowly. But luckily we had like a speedometer as well. Mm. Right. Which was using GPS to show chat how fast I was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was also fun because then chat was like, oh my God, he's moving at like 50 kilometers an hour on this downhill and everyone's mm. getting hyped. Yeah. It was just like, trying to like gamify it and trying mm. to make it like engaging. And I think that yeah. it worked. I yeah. think people really liked it. Definitely. And like yeah. the views were crazy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I um, saw you peak to like 30,000 at the end. Yeah, yeah. like 31, 31, 31 or something, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had that many viewers ever on yeah. a live stream. Yeah, yeah, and that's nuts. That's fucking insane. Yeah, it was, it was <clears> crazy. It was, uh, it's hard though. Cause cycling with the backpack on was like, it was a lot. Mm. And then also trying to like be fun for yeah. nine hours while cycling <laughs> is hard. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, <laughs> That was hard. That was the hardest part. I felt like some days I wasn't engaging enough. And at, the, at that point, I think there's enough elements within the stream that you didn't need to be engaged. Yeah, no one's gonna blame you for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think for the first like four or five days, I was killing it with the engagement. I thought yeah. I was like just talking nonstop, even yeah. though I was cycling. Yeah. Um, except for like uphills. Yeah. I was like, all right, chat, just-, <laughs> just <laughs> But fun. even that was fun. Cause like, I, I, think, I think it all worked really nicely where we had enough elements in it um, where Everyone kind of came together mm -hmm. and when like uphill sections <laughs> happened that were really long, everyone was just kind of like in cheering mode. Yeah. And that was really fun. Uh, yeah, it was just, everything worked. Like I, th I was very lucky that we never had a, a signal outage more than like 20, 30 minutes. Right. And even then most of them were like one minute. Right, right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it worked. I, I don't know, it's, I think it's a fucking miracle that it all worked out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The battery lasted every single day. Nice. I, I, my, I had a 50,000 milliamp battery and it only died on the very, very last day after 10 hours of streaming. Damn. With four things plugged into it. God damn, okay. And then it would last like another hour on like residual charges. Right, right, right. right, right. right. So that's like crazy. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, it was nuts. I didn't even talk about how like how the cycling actually was, but just the prep and doing it was hard. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah, cause like, like I saw how many things you had going on in like IRL stream setup and everything yeah. like that. And I was just like, is this custom made or is this yeah, like- Yeah, all of it was like custom. Yeah, yeah. God damn. GG, so, so like how much time did this play like take like planning to like execution? Um, 
like a month or so? We had about a month between when I pitched the idea and when mm. we did it. And even yeah. then, like we were changing the route kind of like whilst we were cycling as mm. well. Like, cause Google maps, just like there was, if you cycle in Tokyo, there's pre-existing cycle routes yeah. Yeah, that yeah, can yeah. tell you where to cycle. Mm. But in Wakanai and stuff like that, no one cycles there. Mm. We didn't see people- Well, no one's, like, there. Well, no one's there, period. Yeah. Just didn't, like, after we left Wakanai, we just didn't see people for like four days. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing. Yeah. And um, like, it was just so much prep, so much. And like, I was trying to do work and do other streams whilst also trying to manage everything. And also I didn't really promote it that much. Mm. Right. I was kind of like, yeah, it's happening. And in hindsight, I should have promoted it way more. Cause I'm like, this is like eight days. I should have promoted this. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, event. exactly. Yeah. But I was also terrified that if I promoted it too much and, and in the first and day failed. and the first day just had no signal. Right. Cause I, I, <laughs> I genuinely thought like the first day of cycling, mm -hmm. I would just have no signal for half the day. Right. And I right, kept right. telling the viewers as we were leaving work and I'm like, Listen, if there's no signal for like two hours, I'm so sorry. It's probably gonna happen. Just just deal with it. Yeah. And it was like terrifying. So you're like, man, <clears throat> it really fucking sucks to have a, your first day of an, a big event. Yeah. Just not, just work. not work. And it's technical like, issues. Technical how issues. do you convince people to then just, you know. Stick around. Yeah. If they don't, <laughs> if they don't invest themselves in the first day, a lot of people are gonna fall off. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Cause what happened is it was kind of like a, like that in viewership, right? It went, right. The first day was crazy. We had like 27,000 viewers. Mm. Right. I don't even know why. Mm. Uh, like the people were going crazy. Like I think all our energies were really high as well because mm. it was the first day. Yeah, 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 Chris, yeah, was, yeah. Chris was really, really funny the first day and was energetic, slowly went down. <laughs> <laughs> then, I'm sure he'll talk about that as, as well. It does. Uh, same with me, to be honest. I mean, for the first five days I was killing it and then I started really slowing down. Right. Um, and yeah, and so I forgot what the question was. <laughs> just how was your how was the experience? Yeah. That, that was Preparation it. Just was tough. Preparation yeah, was yeah. the hardest part. Like getting all the the widgets and stuff to work. Mm. But like that's why I did like two days before I did a, a test stream in Tokyo. Yeah, where I did a sixty k cycle across Tokyo. But obviously, it's not really like the same because mm -hmm. Tokyo is like perfect internet. Yeah, and like yeah, there was yeah. never a worry that it would cut out because I'm Tokyo has like- that's that's why why IRL, a McDonald's every That's why corner. IRL streams just work it because yeah. it's It works just, so well in Tokyo. Yeah, you really yeah. have to be like in like a weird basement or some kind of room that's made of aluminum foil. Yeah, exactly. I said aluminum, ew. Ew. <laughs> uh, no, 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 you said it right, you said oh it right. God, God. You said it right, Connor. Oh there there, there wasn't a mistake I, in that. I, I there wasn't a mistake. I was gonna say aluminum. I, sorry, <laughs> aluminum. It's, a, it's aluminum for him. Oh, sorry, fuck. He's been indoctrinated, Johnny. He's been indoctrinated. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure there'll be like a really big video out. I don't know if I'm gonna do one or two parts or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but like it was it was a lot of prep. It was so I wish I could show the prep because the prep was crazy and like right. again, shout out to my uh, my uh, uh, mods and slash programmers <laughs> who uh, worked r really fucking hard on making the Find My Monkey app. I think that was the coolest part for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think watching. I mean, that, you just it had a custom sick. app, mate. Yeah. It was. I thought it was fucking sick that you could just see like the map. It was zooming in and out, gradually showing you where I was. And yeah. It was like kind of go. I just yeah. thought that was sick and a progress bar, like a progress bar, that's so fucking cool. When yeah. I watched the Tour de France, I'm like, where are they? I don't fucking Where's know. Where's the progress yeah. bar? Where's the progress? <laughs> Dude, tell me the, tell me the give speed. Me, give me the progress bar, tell man. That, like, that's what the, I need. What's the like actual current speed on a GPS? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Give me like, I want like, low, like make it like a game. Like yeah. make it like, I'm just- I, I won't watch Tour de France unless there's a HUD. <laughs> like, to you, I, I, I have like a heads up display, right? Yeah. And like, if Tour de France Friends had chat. I'm, I'm watching that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tour de France needs this, dude. I like, you know what? I want like the hearts display. Oh, like how much health they have left. Oh, oh, it's, 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 it's so fucking weird because um, because I, I've also been streaming more often this mm. like, past month. I've yeah. tried, yeah. tried to dabble in more often. I'm kind of getting used to it, right? Mm. But then like a few days ago, I had to like stream like a let's play. Yeah. And I was like, great, this this can be easy, all right? Yeah. I've, I've been doing let's plays for this past month yeah. and everything like that. Yeah. And just like, but it, ha it was like an offline let's play. So no chat, <laughs> just an yeah. OG offline let's no. play. Yeah. And I, so I, I tried, I tried like, I thought it was going to be easy. Cause I've like, I've been streaming like, I've been streaming games, streaming different mm. things, like f almost like every day for like mm. the past month, or whatever. This is going to be easy. I turn on the game. And I like subconsciously look towards where the chat is. I see no interaction. I'm like, what the fuck do uh, I chat say? Chat makes everything better. And I just, I actually had to like scrap the video. Cause I was like, I, I don't know how to be, <laughs> I actually don't know how to like commentate or like be entertaining without you know, you know something to interact with. You know with. what's so weird though? I actually find it 
easier when there's no chat. No, yeah. no, yeah. no. Well, because no. I because early in my channel I did let's plays yeah, yeah, that yeah. weren't on stream. Right. So like I because I'm used to that from early on in my channel because mm. I was at one point a let's player. Mm. Yeah. I just find it so much easier when there's no chat. <laughs> for me, for me, chat. I I'd be I might be thinking about like uh you know something you know like okay I'm I'm gonna say like this joke here or yeah, I'm gonna yeah. like you know explain this or whatever yeah but while I'm doing that on stream because I'm so engrossed in looking at chat mm. I all the jokes just fly out of my head <laughs> so I become such a boring let's play on stream I just <laughs> read out the funniest thing chat says and I just yeah. say say as if it's my joke <laughs> so, that so, normally works really yeah. well to, I guess to, so. to me like. I, th I think my big issue is that when I don't have, when I'm not live streaming, mm. and when I'm like just trying to record like an offline video, second channel video, mm. whatever, um, I like think about what I say too much. Yeah, so I try, yeah, I, yeah, I try yeah. to like script it in my head. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Whereas if you I have- giggle. You do tend to giggle. Yeah, 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 right? I, yeah. I turn into like giggle, right? <laughs> Whereas if chat's there, I'm forced to say what's the first thing that comes to my mind. Right. Right? I don't, I can't like second guess myself. So I just right. haven't forced to like I, constantly talk. I'm like a firm believer that it, <laughs> as a streamer, your chat should be on screen. I just think it always should be on screen. Oh yeah, of course. I just think that like, that's the whole live element, right? Mm -hmm. Show them. Like, mm -hmm. there doesn't have to be like crazy, not like Nico Nico, where it's like flying across the fucking screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just put it in the little corner. Like, all right, imagine if you could, like, I think it's stupid that the Olympics don't let people like stream it. Yeah. Imagine if you had like Twitch chat with the Olympics. I think that'd be yeah. awesome. I think we've said this before on Trash Taste, but like, <laughs> that's why, like, I really, really wanted all this stuff on, on the screen yeah, for yeah, the yeah. cycling things. I'm like, cycling is like inherently, you know, it's not that, you know, it's not that exciting. Yeah. Like, it's just not. Like if I was just cycling POV across Japan, it's like, yeah. all right, cool. Yeah. Nice. Right, right. Like uh, walking the same, it's like, give me something. Like give yeah, me, yeah. give me some stuff to get invested. With. True gamer. Mm -hmm. You're just, you're, yeah. you're, you're turning IRL into a game. You, well, that's kind of what I wanted it to be. Like right, I kind of right. wanted it to be where anyone could hop in and kind of get a feel for what, where we're at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to ask like, oh, how far in are we? It's like, we're eighty percent of the way there. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, we're we're eating lunch and we're forty seven percent of the way there. Mm, oh, yeah. the days just started with five. percent You know what I mean? Like, mm, yeah, yeah. A lot of the questions people are going to ask uh, in the chat and stuff like that. Just get that out of the way. There's yeah. never any questions about how are we doing, how's it. You know, it's like you can everything is visually explained, mm -hmm. and and it doesn't impose. I think it adds to it because mm. it's not like there's much I need to show. Yeah. It's right, literally right. just uh, yeah, me going. And like I I had like a. A fail proof for like everything, um, except a spare bike, which I nearly broke. Of course you did. <laughs> of course. Like my brand, <laughs> brand Every new time. bike. <laughs> I was smart though, I got insurance on my bike. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's, that's good. good. That's good. Like, we we learned from our mistakes. The yeah. insurance was like, like, it was like 20% of the bike's fucking cost, but it covered yeah. everything. It was like, if the bike literally combusts or gets stolen, yeah, yeah. they'll replace it. It's for monkey proof. Yeah, yeah, literally like no matter what I do to it, it, it is, yeah. it is uh, they'll, they'll, no questions asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's great for me. Cause if I was live streaming, I broke it. I'm like, it's proof. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm right here, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, I nearly broke it on yeah. the second day. It's yeah. not good. Who had did like, you, was that when you fell over or? Yeah, yeah. I, I was pointing to something in the distance, yeah. holding on with my left hand and I went over a big rock. Right. The thing like wobbled. Yeah. And I just went right into the yeah. uh, the pavement. And it was a really big, like, it was like maybe like this big of sidewalk from the road, mm. pavement for British people. Um, and I just like jumped into the bush. So yeah. I didn't want to land on the sidewalk. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. yeah. I was like, I, that's just gonna hurt. Yeah. But I didn't also didn't want my bike to get wrecked. So I, I just didn't, in the second I was like, I just can't decide, I'll just jump. <laughs> but I, I was also, cause I, I, my first time ever using them, I had the clip in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Which are awesome by the way. It makes cycling like way easier. And also you have to think less. Mm. You don't have to worry where your legs are. Mm. You just yeah. like a like a steam engine. <laughs> you just keep, you just keep pushing. You don't- Like the machine. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean like, I'll, I'm sure we'll talk about what Chris is on, but he's just like slipping and fucking, yeah, falling, yeah, you know, yeah. like it's just, it's good, but also, it's bad for situations like that. Yeah, yeah But luckily, yeah. Uh, if you jump hard enough, you'll get out of the clips. <laughs> and I think I did. And like, hey, it made a good clip. It was completely by accident. And luckily there's no cars on the road mm. right. at that point. Uh, I mean, we were in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was- it was. You it have was, to be pretty unlucky to get hit by a car <laughs> on a road that's practically empty. That would be tough. That would be yeah. tough. I mean, there was, that, that was an aspect that was really, uh, <laughs> You get used to it pretty fast, but it was very anxious the first time where you, you cycle on the road. Oh you yeah, use, yeah. And, highway, and tunnels, especially. Yeah, mm -hmm. tunnels are the scary. You never get used ones. to it. Tunnels are terrifying because mm. yeah. the echo in a tunnel when you're cycling in it is terrifying. Mm. Right, right. Because the car comes in, all you hear in the background is. 
from like fifteen thousand echoes yeah, coming. Yeah. Right, that's uh, terrifying. And you and you know it's coming from behind you, and you're like, oh no, oh no, please, please, <laughs> don't see hit me. me, don't please hit me. see me. I, I, you I, have I, your lights on, yeah, and you're just yeah. like, please see me, please see me, please. And you're literally just hoping you just don't die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> Hoping right. it's not like, like, cause I saw like that one, one of the clips where that massive truck just yeah, like yeah, almost clipped you or some that, shit that like was, that. That was, that was unnecessarily scary because it was literally a, a country road with so much room and mm -hmm. no one, no one was on these roads. Mm. Yeah. And he went so close to me and I thought, why? <laughs> Why? Just being a dickhead. <laughs> like, you, I, I, I mean, it was enough room. Yeah. It, yep. was, it probably in Europe, it's probably the normal amount of room. Yeah. But I was just like, well, come on, man. It wasn't like it was like a busy road. Like, I don't know. That, that, that was probably not as close as some other ones, but other times we were on a road and I chose to be on the road. Because mm. when you're cycling for ages, going on the, the pavement, the sidewalk, it's bumpy and up and down and shit paved and it's just not good. And yeah, after yeah. a while, you're just like, I just, want to cycle. <clears throat> I do not want to have to think or get my ass hurt or stop or slow down. You just want to keep you going. You just want to have the exercise bike experience. Where yeah, just pretty like, much, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and you go so much faster on the road. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, whatever. I don't give a fuck about the cars. I, even when I'm driving, I don't give a fuck if I have to just like wait a second to get around the cyclist. Mm. It's a road bike. Let me go on the road. Yeah. <laughs> also, my favorite part is when I saw other Japanese cyclists and we just nod at each other. That was fun. <laughs> The, so the you, mutual you, respect. You, 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 you're you're acclimated every, now. Every other cyclist that was like also wearing serious gear would not. Yeah. I will wave. <laughs> you, it was like a mutual respect. You'd wave, especially when like, I don't know, like you uh, you were coming down, like uh, you were going up a big hill and after yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they knew and you're like, oh nice. He's like, oh, he ain't annoying nice. me. <laughs> nice. He's oh, one us. of us, one, He's of, one us. of us. Yeah, Dude, yeah, Cause yeah. like one night we had to drive back. Um, uh, uh, we had to drive down the biggest incline we did. Mm. Right. And in the car, we were like, this is stupid. I can't believe we cycled up this. Like, yeah. It's yeah. like 10, we're like on this road for like 10 minutes driving down. Mm. We're like this, we cycled up this. This is insane. Yeah. Cause like day one, the first incline we're like uh, dying. We're like, we can't do this. This yeah. is too much. And by like day seven, you're just like, all right, just get used to all it. right, 5K <laughs> incline, let's do it. Let's yeah. just go. You just get used to it. It's like, an, it's like, it's just a different sensation. Mm. You don't, like it doesn't hurt nearly as much. You yeah. just kind of like, it just uses a different part of you. It's yeah. really interesting. I I I really want to keep cycling more. I feel really fit. I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, uh, I don't so know. If you don't feel fit after this, I don't know what's <laughs> going to like. Cause like, <laughs> cause like your heart rate is like literally, uh, uh, not literally, it's, it's just elevated all day long. Like yeah. you're just purely exercising like, seven, eight hours a day. Yeah, That's it for eight days, no breaks. It's probably terrible if you actually want to build muscle and actually do it healthily. Mm. Uh, but yeah. But it's great to lose body fat. Right? If you want to lose sure. weight, it's yeah. great, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's just like- yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty like- yeah. It's awful. It's, it's like not eating for three days. <laughs> yeah. It's awful. Cause like, you know, you're burning like, I don't know. I think most days we were burning like five, 4,000 calories a day. Mm. So it's like, oh, it's on top of your daily like, 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you just like, there's no possible way you can eat 8,000 calories a day. Mm. Like, unless you're like actually trying your hardest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I exactly. just didn't want to eat. I also I'm cycling. I don't want to fucking eat. Yeah, it's. I mean, like, it's. I mean, I think it's a great way to lose weight if you want to, like, fucking <laughs> do that. I mean, you know. I don't think I lost that much weight because I was really? also I was drinking a lot of beer. Uh, oh well. <laughs> well, that uh, made the beer worth it though, yeah, right? Yeah. That, that was that's the sweetest. That's how you're putting beer. back the eight thousand calories, yeah, yeah, just like exactly. on, like ten pints of beer. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, I ate I ate as much as I could mm. at, at every point, but yeah. like, there's even then, it's like you just. I don't know. You... If, if only we had our health checkup right now, right, Connor? I know. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> that was the real weird reason. So it was like, just like, uh, shit, my health checkup's coming yeah. up. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop some weight, bro. Yeah. Eight days. Like. But then <laughs> like, it's like you, you finish at like five, 6 p.m. every day and then mm -hmm. you got to shower. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have to charge everything. Right. I have to charge the like uh, the giant portable, ba portable battery. I have to charge all the router. Uh, mm. router what was the British one? Router? router? I call, I call it a router. I don't know which one it is. It's it's pretty router. It's, it's, I, I say router. 
I, I've heard, I don't, say, I don't hear British people say Ruta. So maybe it's yeah. Ruta is the American one. I have to charge all I of feel those like, things. I feel like Ruta is like the Southern British maybe, way yeah, to say maybe. it. Maybe. Ruta. You know, Ruta. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact 3rd tells the story of the Valkyries fighting against an energy called Honkai that erodes the world and protects humanity. And guess what? For mid-September, Honkai Impact 3rd version 6.0 will officially begin. Ooh, Ooh. Okay, okay. We got new characters. We got a second phase of the summer event and a major update for the main chapter as well. We have, gentlemen, a brand new battle suit. Ooh. Alicia as the Hersha of human ego. After unleashing her ultimate, Alicia marks off an area, then transforms into a mermaid, floating free and happy in an ocean of stars. And guys, right now, they are doing a summer event. You know how it is, Ooh. guys. You know how it is. We are getting part two of the summer event storyline. And guys, guys, listen to me. This event includes three new chapters, and you can have a chance to get some more nice outfits, guys. Come on, it's summer. Come on, <laughs> celebrate, guys. Come celebrate. On. Hell yeah. But gentlemen, wait, there's more. There's more? There's what? more. Download the game now to redeem the gift code on screen and get 30 crystals. What? 2,888 asteroids what? and a Hersha trial card for free. Click the link in the description below. Thank you to Honkai for sponsoring this video. Back to the show. I, I have to like charge my, my phone, my stream phone, uh, the two portable batteries in my bike, mm -hmm. the, uh, the giant battery, uh, the three routers, um, everything else. And then I have to put it all back in the bike. And it's just, it's a lot every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You probably pretty much didn't get to do anything for like eight days. Well, I mean like, was there anywhere you'd want to go back to? Any, oh anywhere? yeah, like Nobody Betsu was cool. Oh, Nobody right. Betsu is sick. It's a really famous onsen town. Yeah. Uh, and that was really cool. I, Cause a lot of the towns you went to just had nothing. <laughs> just nothing in yeah. there. Well, I the feel first three I feel, days we didn't see anything. Yeah, I, I feel like anything north of like Sapporo is yeah. pretty well, much uh, just like uh, uh, Asahikawa not was really sick. Oh, other than Asahikawa, uh, anything north of Asahikawa was yeah. really small. Like there were some places that only had like one hotel within like a uh, you know like an eighty kilometer radius. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Like um, uh, I'm sure I, I, Chris can tell the story about this racist hotel staff. But there's already clips of it and stuff. <laughs> not racist, I don't know, fucking, or maybe just a horrible person. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know like, what it's like that with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know if they're just racist or they're just horrible to that's everyone. That. Like, I, it's, that's, the, that's the difficulty being in Japan. <laughs> yeah, especially in like the country in Japan. Are you yeah. being racist or are you just like <laughs> horrible? Or are you just a dickhead? Or, yeah. like, I'm not too I like, don't like, know. I can't tell, uh, yeah. but like there was like, you know, uh, the first night there was like no hotels in this area, just none. Mm, right. It was just only like one hostel. <laughs> mm. And it just like didn't make sense for us to go in a hostel when we had to charge, charge so everything. Many stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had to get up so early and we, had to, we were gonna get there so late and stuff. So it was just it was just tough. Really yeah. tough. Mm. I don't know how you would normally would you, would you do it again? <laughs> would or you cycle? Do, like some something like that, cycle course. Not Hokkaido again. Right. Hokkaido is way harder than anywhere else in Japan. Somewhere a little more, like with a little more civilization. I'd love to do it. Uh, I mean, Chris was also, Chris already, ready, already was like, maybe we should do another one sometime soon. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I, the idea was like maybe Kyushu or something. Right, that makes right. more sense, right? Cause mm. it's a whole island and it's- Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a um, lot hillier though. Yeah, but that <laughs> apparently Chris was telling me there's a there's another way. You, there's like the a west or east side that's right, not right. as hilly or whatever. I don't mind like hills. Fam now. Famous last words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm fine. I, with I know a way. I know I'm fine way. with hills. All right, all right. I know a place. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I did it again. It was like way more successful than I thought. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought it wasn't gonna be. I thought the viewership on my Twitch was not gonna be as good as it mm -hmm. was. Mm. Yeah. Um. I thought because it was like I. I thought I wouldn't like watch it if I. Just watch someone cycle. I don't yeah, know. I, don't I mean, know. I feel like IRL content on Twitch is just doing really, really well yeah, right now. Definitely. Because um, no one else can come to Japan, that's why. <laughs> so that's the only. That's literally the only people, way they can satiate just like, their needs. This is great. You can just show off a fucking combini and like chat yeah. loses like, their oh mind. My God. <laughs> I think IRL stuff should always be like an event. Not. I, I mm. don't know how you could be a like. I don't know how Rob does it. Uh, Rob. I don't know how Rob does it. He streams like five days a week. Yeah. I, IRL. IRL, I, don't, I don't know yeah. how that is. I'm like, that how much have you not run out of places to go? Yeah, to? yeah. I don't know how he does it. I yeah. I would be sick of going outside. <laughs> I, I would just <laughs> touching too much grass. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, can I can I not touch grass? Yeah. Can I can I? I think, you know, I think it's great to have IRL stream events. I think mm -hmm. as one offs, they're really good. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think Twitch right now or streaming in general, like IRL, is a really big uh, like trend. Right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. It's definitely. always been a thing, but I think right now it's 
particularly popular more than anything yeah definitely um when it's done well yeah um so if you want to try it try it it just sucks because the barrier of entry to IRL streaming is very very high well yeah um also yeah. cycling as well I if, if, cycling if, on top of it if, yeah. if you want to get into like the amount of you cycling could, that you, you did do like you don't need to buy all the shit that I bought like you could get a shit bike and do the same thing it would mm. just be harder Oh yeah. Like this bike was insane. Would you have a good time though? Doing your Bro, cycle no, route? This bike was, my bike was nutty. I've never had gears that change like that. Like I've never had a bike where you just tap it, mm. boom, change yeah. gear mm. immediately. No questions asked. The bike is like, bro, I got you. Doesn't matter what hill you're on, anything, boom, <laughs> tap it. You wanna go two, hold it down twice as long. Right. It's insane. I've never had so, gears so now, that swap that easy. So now that you've had the cycling experience, what do you think makes a good bike? What would you recommend? Now that you're a cycling expert. Now that you're the I've trash taste cycling. I've only ridden cycling. like this bike and this bike was nuts. Yeah. Like I, I don't understand how people can like review bikes for a living. I'm just like, what are you, what are you looking for? Like, I feel like every bike is slightly I like- I feel like you can say that with any <laughs> niche though. Yeah. I wanted a bike that was good for the lazy man. Uh, Cause mine right. had a thing. So you, you, got, you, got, you, got the, you got the apple of bikes. <laughs> Kinda, I, I kind of got like the, like, yeah, like the full, so. I bought my bike purely on the reason that uh. it had um, the headlights and the rear light like built into the bike. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you just charge this battery pack on the, the frame and then it's just controlled by an app. Oh, easy. You just turn the lights on. Or okay. if it gets dark, they automatically turn on. Okay. Easy. And I was like, cool, that sounds good. Cause I hate turning on these lights cause I always forget to turn them off. Mm. And then I just, I'm, I understand that this is such a lazy <laughs> reason to get it, but I just wanted to do it. Turns out it became a pain at one point because when I had no internet, I couldn't turn my lights on. Oh, <laughs> there's no, there's no way to turn them on without an app. And it really felt like that moment where boomers are like, "Why do you, why you got to put technology in everything? We did, we we had lights that work just fine without these fucking apps. Was, why do you need smart bulbs when the switches are? Yeah, they truly felt at that point where it was like, ah. This sucks. This, this is uh, so yeah. dumb. Why does the, why is there not a way for this me to turn it on? This is an oversight. There's, there's, there's no way for me to turn it on without the app. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. this is fucking dumb. Yeah. yeah. When 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 the when the inevitable rogue AI, you know, take, yeah. starts taking over humanity, yeah. we're gonna look back at this point and be like, why can't we turn on the lights without our fucking <laughs> smart app? So you're gonna pay like 10, 10 Bezos bucks to pay, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pay a subscription service <laughs> yeah. to turn dude, on this felt, light. If I, I, did, I, 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 oh my God. So I bought this bike. So I said $4,000, but I think it's normally $4,000. I don't know what the fuck happened, but yeah. um, I went to the store and I, cause I already knew what bike I wanted mm. and they had it in the store. Mm. Cause I, I, I didn't understand how, how you buy bikes really. I yeah. just thought, oh, they'll, they'll just have the bike in the store. Mm. Yeah. Turns out like, it, like if the store's small and they don't have your bike, they have to order it for you, which can yeah. take months. Yeah. So I was like, Chris, I was like, you, you, by the way, you can't just like wait, you should go now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he waited like two weeks before and couldn't get the same bike as me, but he wanted the same bike as me. Right. Um. So he couldn't get that one. Cause yeah. he, 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 the store he had didn't have it. But luckily I went to the store and they had it. And they had it in like shining purple. And I was like, oh, fucking sick. Yeah. yeah. Trash taste represent now. I was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got it. And um, yeah, it was really weird. It was like, um, three thousand dollars, and for some reason, the day that I went to the store, they had a campaign on mm. where it was like, "Yeah, you get uh, ten percent off uh, the bike, just be any bike, just, just because." Just any of them. And then I got extra money off because I paid in cash, and it ended up costing like two thousand five hundred bucks. And I was like, "Oh, okay, okay. cool, not too bad then." Um, I was like, "Sweet, I've got these apps <laughs> and is, stuff." Is, is that is that not too bad? That's five hundred dollars <laughs> off. I mean, it paid for the insurance. <laughs> hey, this is, this is a good bike. This is a good it's bike. Still, it's still a two thousand dollar hey, bike. Hey, it is an amazing bike. It is a it's a beautiful. Non cyclist bike. be like, no, that is that it a is good carbon deal? fiber, a beautiful specimen. I'm like, of a bike. I'm like, damn. I'm like, and the first bike I bought was like one hundred and fifty dollars. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's fucking expensive. Yeah, bro, Shit. this bike it was god tier, dude. It was like perfect. For yeah. this. You do not need a good bike to do this. I definitely like just just because I had the money, I just splurged. Yeah, right, right, that's right, right. purely like a, you do not need this kind of bike. Right. Um, so yeah, and then I bought the bike and I started sweating when I when I went to the app store to download the app and I saw the reviews and it had 2.1 stars. And I was like, oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, is it? it's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah and uh, I've been trying to update my sensor in the bike for like a month now. Can't update it, <laughs> just doesn't work. Just doesn't let me update it. Damn. Can't update my bike. The that's lights, they turn on, but they're so finicky. Right. It's so annoying. And I'm just like, I for fuck's sake, why would they not just put a button to turn it on? 
<laughs> like this is an expensive. We go real. We go real, we go real is, minimalistic with our design. So an expensive bike, and there's the lights are a pain in the fucking ass to turn on. <laughs> yeah, they I put mean, all these like bits and bobs on a bike, but they were like switch for the light. Switch? No, no, we, also, we, we don't need a switch. I also like you know I my the seat on the bike. You know, I assume if I'm the super most serious cyclist on earth, it's great. Mm. It's just not comfortable. It is tiny. <laughs> It's tiny. Is there is there does is there any bike that actually has a comfortable seat for, on it? For road bikes, generally they're not. Yeah, they're not. They're like right? really small, and they're meant to you know because you you cyclists are like all right, get used to it. That's kind of what it is. You yeah. just have to you literally just have to destroy your ass. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, used yeah. To it. yeah. And I was like, can I change the seats? So you know, I take the seat off, and I'm like, uh oh, yeah. The the rear headlight <laughs> that is hardwired to the bike cannot be removed from this seat, so I have no choice but to use the seat. Right. That's I'm how like, they rope fuck. you into it. <laughs> So I have to buy like this padded seat, but I really wanted this bike. Right. Because it was perfect for what I wanted. It was like an endurance bike and the mm. wheels were a bit thicker than normal road bikes. Mm. And it was just, it was good. Mm. God, he did buy the Apple bikes. He did. Fucking yeah. Yeah. No, no accessories, yeah. no yeah. customization. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is included. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine like trying to fix this bike is a pain. <laughs> yeah. um, you gotta probably have to call up like that particular you, you company break, You break the warranty. You have to have like specialist yeah, yeah. equipment. I gotta, just I gotta, to, I gotta like, do the I most simplest thing. Two year warranty cost me 600 fucking dollars to, for insurance and shit on this bike. <laughs> It's and literally then I, the then, iMac then of I, bikes. Then I had to, <laughs> had to register with the police as you do in Japan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's like, a, it's like it's considered a vehicle registration in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And That's why getting rid of a bike as well is fucking pain in the ass yeah. in Japan. Oh, I don't want to get rid of this. You bike. can't just like- I love this. Yeah, but like if you, if you were to, for whatever reason, it's the biggest pain in the ass. I remember I, when I got rid of my bike, it was yeah. like a whole like, like three week process. Mm -hmm. Just like call them up and Jesus be like, I want to get rid of this bike. And then you have to do all this paperwork to like unregister the yeah. bike. And then you have to get rid of the bike, which costs, you know. Well, luckily yeah. I think this bike's nice enough where I could probably just sell it. If I didn't want oh yeah. I, yeah. I don't think I will. I mean, I love this bike. This bike's awesome. Yeah. I really want to, uh, you know, eventually cycle around like Europe or something. That'd be mm. cool. Well, now that you've invested this much money into it, it's, yeah. it's, it would be yeah, a shame you if you didn't well. use it again. You dude, know? I mean, I, you know, I've been cycling to the, <laughs> before this, I was cycling to the studio a lot. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I think it's, dude, after cycling on this bike, it's like, oh, this is like how cycling is supposed to feel. <laughs> like uh, cycling in the Shinami Kaido when you're cycling, right? You're, you're doing these uphills. It just feels like the bike is just like not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. You, it's like, like square wheels. It's just like you pedal and it feels like nothing's happening. Well, that's, that's why a lot of the times we just ended up walking up the hills. Yeah, because yeah. it felt like less effort. Yeah, you know? I, I think I was actually moving faster. Because like the energy, like the energy you're putting into each pedal like wasn't translating as like yeah. to what you kind of wanted. Yeah. Yeah, Whereas yeah. like with this bike, like it was just like every like rotation you put into it mm. felt like it went directly into pushing you. Cause it's mm -hmm. such a nice bike mm. and it's so good. And it was crazy like uphills, man, I've never had anything like that. You, mm. it, it felt like a, you were slowly walking up a hill. Right. Cause the, on the lowest, lowest gear, it was basically like walking up a hill. It was crazy. Right. It's right. such a good bike. We, this is this is now the Connor cyclist arc we have now entered. Everyone, <laughs> I just can't believe that I thought the Shin Namikado was hard. Like that's that's like <laughs> maybe it, maybe we just nerfed ourselves. We should with do the it bikes, again, and know? then I'll just be like, "All right, guys, boys, I finished three hours. Ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys yeah. are halfway. Like, where are you guys at? Where are you guys yeah. at? <laughs> I'm glad you did the cycling special now, and dude, so after the Shin yeah, Namikado, that, otherwise we'd be. You fun. know that little cat and mouse race thing we did? I'm sure on this bike it would yeah. have been like I'd have fucking zoomed past you. Oh bro. yeah, not even this close. Like, yeah. <laughs> like this bike is nutty. I yeah. just, it's, I didn't realize how good these road bikes, obviously if you're a better cyclist, you'll, you'll still like, you know, you'll be mm -hmm. able to use it more. Of course. Like I never did the, just cause I, I couldn't be bothered. Mm -hmm. um, cause it was just a pain in the ass. You know where you can go right on the bottom handlebars and, and be more wind yes. resistant. I never wanted to go that fast. I, and I, and also it was horrible for the camera angle. Yeah. So I'd just be pointing at the ground. So I never ever did that. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I wasn't really using the bike for its like full potential, mm. if you will. I'm sure cyclists are like full cringing. Full potential. You know what I mean? Cause like it's some- Super dude, Saiyan bike. Ultra I, instinct cyclist. Dude, also like the weather conditions, bro. I, I thought rain was the worst. Turns out no, wind is the worst. Right. Well, wind, that's, wind is number one. Can fuck off when you're cycling. Yeah. Well, th that's literally why, like, professional cyclists in the Olympics, they have like they they, they have literally the have a fucking yeah. team. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's it's it's. Bro, it was it's insane. No joke. Insane. The 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 wind is like it, it can make downhills feel like flats mm. if it's strong enough, mm. and it's crazy. You'll be going on the flat, and you'll be you it, it, you have to put the same amount of energy as going up a hill mm. just to keep going because yeah. right. the wind will be so crazy. Uh, it's, it's, I just was like, fuck this. 
Like if, if this was this every day, I, just, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Mm. Just got, we got so lucky that one or two days were perfect. Mm. We had rain some days, which is miserable because your feet get like trench foot yeah. and you're just soaked. It's just awful. Should, should have hired someone just like tank the wind for you like a, like an Olympic I team, was following you know? Chris a lot of the time because he, <laughs> he he did a good job of that. He did it. Because Chris got, I don't know why Chris got get impatient. The big guy yeah. in the front. He got impatient. He just wanted to go in front of me and yeah. I just followed him. It's like, all right. I don't know, it was, it was good. I mean, when there was like certain days where I felt like I could just keep cycling till the end of time. Mm. Right. We did like 120K one day, which was the longest day. And at the end of it, I just felt like, yeah, I could do another 50, another 60. Damn. I felt totally like good to go. Nice. I don't know why. Some days you just feel it. And other days you're like, holy shit, 10K is so hard. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, I, it's, I feel like that's true with exercise in general though, you know? Yeah, yeah it sucks. Cause when you do something like this, those days where you would normally wake up and be like, no, I'll, 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 I won't do exercise today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Cause you, no. you know, those days where you, where you turn up to the gym and you just, you just, you're just shit. You're yeah. Just, everything's the, the walk to the gym, you just like, oh, like you're, you, 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 know, time, you yeah. know, this day is gonna you, suck. You ass. start running on the treadmill and after two minutes, you're like, fuck, I can't. Yeah. You, you can't even do your like normal reps. Yeah. Like everything's shit. It's just like yeah. that, but like in cycling form. And you're like, <sighs> like, I wouldn't even be tired. But my muscles, like my leg muscles would be just so fucked that I just couldn't get them to pedal mm. the speed I wanted them to go to. Mm. Right. Whereas other days it would be just easy. Like yeah. I could just maintain like a crazy pace all day. Don't know why. Mm. And yeah, it was it was awesome. Like it just kind of depended on a lot of factors. I don't know why. Like I, I'm like, some days I would like, like the day after Sapporo, I had drank in Sapporo so much beer. Like I had like six or seven pints of beer. God damn. Cause I was like, I'm in Sapporo, baby. I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> and then that was like my best cycling day the day after. <laughs> I right. just, I'd killed it. Like I just, I was on fire. Fueled by Sapporo Classic, clearly, man. Clearly like either, like the, the Sapporo beer's got something in it, man. Like <laughs> I, I, I was a machine. I, I drank every day or during the well, cycle. That's probably why you didn't lose as much weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it's because every day I had like two beers after it. So I was right, like, yeah. I gotta have, I gotta have a beer. Of to course, yeah, you weren't it. Yeah, 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 man, exactly. that was rough. Yeah, <laughs> that's what powered me. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it was good. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend uh, doing something crazy. Yeah, congratulations. You want to do it? You want to do it? I don't know. I mean, I want to do something crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, th I think we've, it's it's weird because this year has just been a crazy, crazy year just yeah. in general. We've already done some pretty we, fucking we, crazy things I mean, this it's not, year. It's not even fucking over yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you want to uh, do it next time? You want to- I'd be something? down. I don't know. Like, would you actually? I would actually be down. Like six, seven days? Yeah. I guess because you you've got you've got me to tell you all the everything to do. Now. Yeah, right I've, right. I've done. I've I've found out how to exactly. do everything. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No. But like I I mean you know if I want to fucking get because you know I, I do want to get into shape. Mm -hmm. Um. And so you know why would I you know what what better excuse than to yeah. do it for you know a charity I, or an event? Right? I don't think it's a good way to get like super fit. There's like way better ways to do it. Yeah, but, but if I you think just want like, to get a kickstart. Yeah, I think as well, one. like, you know, but, it's just to say that you did it as well. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a cool fucking high. story to tell. It's cool. Yeah, yeah it's but cool. I feel like it's, especially if you want to get fit, you know, it's, mm. it's, I'm sure like there's oh, more- there's so many better there, ways. There, there oh, are better so ways. Of course, better yeah. ways. There are better ways to min max it, but at the end of the day, if you're not having fun mm. or if you're not doing, yeah. if you don't have the, mo the motivation, there's going to be more efficient ways to do it. Yes. But if you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of like, it's it's very similar to I guess <clears throat> learning a language and everything mm -hmm. like that. Is, is like what I've realized is that there is always a more efficient way to learn Japanese or learn yes. another language. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is the it's daily having grind. fun. It, no, no, no joke, no it joke. Is. It fucking is. Okay, yeah. but, look, it, if like we've we've like clowned on Duolingo so much, but if you if Duolingo gets you up and gets you doing a yeah, language exercise every it. day, yeah. that's way fucking better than other methods. Absolutely. That are, Way more efficient. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, sometimes the stars align, right? And you yeah. get everything just kind of works out. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you set a challenge and it kind of just hits every box you want. Yeah. yeah. You know, like for me, it was started out as me just wanted to do something stupid. Mm. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, well, I get personal fitness. I get to make some content. I get to Support cycle with charity. my friends. And then I get to also raise money for a great cause. And mm. yeah. hopefully I get to entertain a bunch of people throughout yeah. it. So I think, you know, you it, sometimes you just. You know, you're like, this is gonna be tough. This is not gonna be easy. And it's gonna it's gonna be a nuisance to my life. Cause you know, like I couldn't really do much after the day was over. Yeah. Like people would text me, but I would just, I couldn't fucking <laughs> reply. I was yeah. just so, I was too tired. I yeah. wouldn't look at my phone. I, yeah. to, I literally ate 
changed clothes, showered, put stuff on charge, went to bed, then woke up at 6, 5 a.m. every day. Mm. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was tough. And then today, I had to wake up at 5 a.m. to get the Shinkansen from Hakodate to get here to film this. <laughs> I, I literally finished it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to think I was in Hokkaido yesterday. Yeah. And That's you just weird. got the well, Shinkansen no, you're, you're this morning. You're in Hokkaido this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, <laughs> this, morning, this morning. This morning. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. And like I, the number one tip to cycling long distances is just wake up early. But I, I'm sure when Chris comes on, he'll tell you all about it. We had so many arguments about what time to wake up. Right. We actually, we like had on like full well, on yeah, fights. Yeah, because really? Chris is like the number one, like I hate waking up in the morning person. We had like a shouting match at one point about this in like a restaurant. We were, because we, we, we were, this is like five, we are so stressed out, right? Because yeah. you're yeah. cycling all day, you're pissed off. Yeah. And I, and I was getting I was getting really pissed off for Chris. It was all water under the bridge afterwards. Like, but we were like so pissed off. But what other. what time did he want to wake up? He you know because he was arguing that like oh, if if I wake up too early I'm I'm you know I won't get enough sleep and I won't be in right. condition to do anything and I'm like just get over it <laughs> just, like. Just I, uh, get good. I, I, just, don't be tired. Well, don't be tired. Don't be tired. Well, I'm sure he can talk about. Like, yeah, no, he'll explain this. Because like my my method, say what you have to say listen, now so that he can yeah so he defend, can defend himself, himself in the next episode. Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. when you do, I I think that because <laughs> we we've done video shoots together, right? Yeah. And sometimes you do shoots with a lot of people. Yeah. Sometimes for the for the the greater good of the shoot, you just have to sacrifice things. Of course. Yeah. And I think Chris, because Chris normally controls everything on his videos. Yes. He controls it so that he doesn't have to wake up early. Right. Yeah. But for this, it was like, we're just not going to hit the places. Because I, I I, was like insistent on the fact that I did not want to cycle in the dark. Yeah. I just thought that it's- Well, it looks like shit first. It looks yeah. like shit. And also it's just unnecessarily adding like a dangerous elements to mm -hmm. it for no reason. Like, yeah. yeah, you have lights on your bike, but you can't see stuff as well. You can't see the- the rocks in the yeah, road. Of course. These roads are shit. Yeah. yeah. You can't see the potholes. You can't see the cut the cars can't see you as well. Like I just I just thought that it's you're just Same adding way. unnecessary danger for no reason. Mm, yeah. And we could just wake up an hour early. Yeah. You know? Because originally we were waking up at like we were starting at like 9 30. And I just thought that's way too late. Yeah, that's surprisingly late. And so we eventually got it down to like 8, 8 30 after arguing a bunch. <laughs> and like I because I was on the other crazy spectrum where I was like, listen, if I have to get Six hours of sleep, five hours of sleep for a week of my life. So be it. Like it's 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 a week of my life. Yeah. I'll, I'll get over it. I'll yeah. recover. I'll just sleep extra. Yeah. Like obviously it's not ideal, mm. but you just make sacrifices to make stuff happen. Yes, like, of course. Uh, but Chris was like, it's no, for the good no, of the content. To, uh, yeah, but we, you know, it was. I I understand where he was coming from, and also yeah. you know I'm younger and I can. It's way easier for me to. I mean, you're not that much younger. <laughs> I don't know, like six years younger. I don't know, like yeah. for me, I waking up and losing a bit of, like for me, five hours of sleep, that's not a big issue. If it's mm. like- It's a big issue. I'm, 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 I'm saying if, if, I, if I- Okay, if we were doing this and I was like, gone, you have to get five hours of sleep and we're doing it. You wouldn't be happy about it, but you'd probably be like, all right. Yeah, okay. So like, I, th I think the difference between being 30 is that you just know what your body is capable of. Right. You know, you know some days where you think, okay, Okay. okay, so so yeah. I, I'd say like- I, I understood where he was coming from. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. trying to be a dick about it. I'm I not mean. even 30 and I can already feel that. <laughs> no, that's yeah. that's because you're almost 30, yeah, Joey. Yeah. That's, I'm almost 30. You're almost, that's, I, I think that's the big tester where you've limit tested your body enough to yeah. know what the limits are, yeah. right? So I can do like five hours of sleep, yeah. uh, six hours of sleep, but I know, I know if I do five to six hours of sleep, I'm gonna have a write off day. It's there's there's yes it's, it's <laughs> yeah yeah of yeah. course you know I, you know I'm gonna have a right off day at some point yeah. soon yeah no I know exactly no, I mean my mine is the next day. yeah mine is <laughs> the next day you know I, I am able to power through one day that. of work okay. but then there's there's it's law of equal exchange yeah. I'm going <laughs> like the price is going to catch yeah. up to your right, body right, right. and if the, I have a five hour night the next yeah. night is a twelve hour night. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, I understand exactly. that I, I understand that I that sleep was definitely a necessity yes. yeah um. My solution was just go to bed earlier because Chris was going to bed at like midnight. I was oh, going well, to bed yeah. at like 10 yeah. because I think uh, Chris got really unlucky. A bunch of stuff. I mean, he'll talk about it. A bunch mm. of stuff piled on yeah, like yeah. Uh, emails and important things he had yes. to do. So he wasn't sleeping properly, mm. which is also like, you know, it was, I, I just told everyone, I'm like, don't, don't bother. <laughs> don't don't, is, don't yeah. talk to me. I'm not going to reply to anyone. Yeah. Cause yeah, I'm yeah. just like, I just, I just don't want to worry about anything. Yeah. I just want to turn off. Yeah. Like I told the agency, I was like, Hey, just you can you can ask me do stuff. It. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna I'm not yeah. gonna reply unless yeah. it's like giga urgent. Yeah. Um. 
So yeah, I went to bed every night like 10. So waking up at six is like- Oh, well, that's yeah. nothing. Yeah, that's, that's plenty yeah, of sleep. Yeah, my mindset was we just go to bed that's at just 10. That's eight hours of sleep. Yeah, because yeah, a yeah. lot of the times we all said bye. And we're like, we would all have dinner and talk a bit and then we'd all go to bed at like, we'd all head off at nine. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, just go to bed, you know? Yeah, easy. Worst case scenario, you get seven hours of sleep, which is fine. Seven hours of sleep is also in the recommended amount. That's still pretty eight, good. You yeah. know? Yeah. Um, so that's what I was thinking. But then obviously, you know, uh, everyone, everyone sleeps different okay. as well. Mm. Yeah. Is it um is it an old man thing now to really value your sleep? I, I value my sleep. Don't get me wrong. I <laughs> I normally I I am hard on the seven eight hours necessary. Yeah. But I I when it comes to like a an outdoor shoot where we've all traveled and a yeah. lot of people and money and time is yeah. invested, I'm completely of the mindset of like, if I get two hours, I get two hours. That's what it oh, is. No, because like I I remember actually for for the drifting special. Yeah. yeah. I actually got no sleep for that. Like the road trip, we got like no sleep. Yeah, we got like a lot yeah, of the, the day. Yeah, the road trip was yeah. like five hours. Do you, do you hours remember? Sleep like, a day. Cause I, I stayed in the hotel that we stayed in in Hakodate. Right. Oh, yeah. And I remember I was like, oh, yeah, the last time I was here, we literally were there for four hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, booked yeah. a hotel room just to sleep for four hours. Yeah. We, we got to that hotel at, I think it was like, like 2 a.m. No, it was like 1 or 2 a.m. No, it was one or two. Oh yeah, it was yeah. one or two. It was one or two, a. A. two a. and then we had to wake up at I think six a.m. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We literally booked a hotel yeah. for just like four hours. Yeah. And yeah. we, we just did that because there was a video shoot and we understood that like to make these things happen, we had to- Sacrifice sleep. Exactly. Obviously it's a different, I understand it's completely different when you when it comes to the fact that I'm like, okay, sacrifice sleep, now exercise for eight hours. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's, so I, 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 I was- Content. We, we, we were all- Content. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it was, we were both tired. It had been five days cycling, we were pissed off, but it was, you know, we, we understood that like immediately after you're like, it's war under the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of we, course, of course. We, me and Chris piss each other off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is just like 80% of Chris is just angry at all times anyway. Well, you know- uh, you Well, know, not angry, Chris, annoyed. Chris, Chris likes to be in charge of, of shoots. Yes. And of I was like, this is both of our shoots. And yeah. so you can't just be like, this is what we're doing. Yeah, so I'm like, no, I'm pushing back hard on it. <laughs> I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the one who pushes back. Uh, you know, cause I, we were, we were slowly getting later and later. And I was like, yeah. if we start at 10, we're fucked. We yeah, we're not going to make yeah. it. Cause also, okay, so <laughs> to, to, to preface how all this works. It was eight days and it was like 95 kilometers, 90, 85, 85. And we were just about finishing before sunset when we were doing 95 and 80. Mm -hmm. um, Cause we were, we were slow and we were taking our time. We were stopping for lunch and mm -hmm. we were doing stuff like that. And um, originally the last day was gonna be 160. Damn. And as we were Ooh. getting closer to that day, this is when I was like, dude, we're gonna have to wake up at like 4 a.m. Yeah. And like, I'm, I just, it's one day I'm chill to do it. And we were like having arguments and stuff about it. Cause I'm not waking up at 4 a.m. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do it. And I was like, ah, oh, fine. So we eventually came to the conclusion that we had to like somehow spread out the distance in the remaining days. Mm. So instead of doing like 80, 100, 160, we did 120, 110, 110. Mm. Right. Um, and, and that was tough. Cause then that turned what was gonna be two normal days and a really, really hard day into like just three hard days. Mm. Right, right, right. Um, which is tough. That was tough. Tough. That was tough. Really? That was hard. That was hard. But you know, you get used to it. I don't know. It was hard, but it was really fun. Uh, you, you sound like you know. You know when like Marines go through their like their training where they like <laughs> run fucking like hundred kilometers yeah. or something a day, it's, and then you just like you know you just gotta learn to push past your it's, limits. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's weird. It's how like yeah, when they're like, it was tough. I'm like, it's is it's, that the word you would describe? <laughs> it's, just describe that. it's weird how quickly your body can adapt to things. Oh, of course. Like, I mean, if you if you have like you you know like. Mm. We had like hard deadlines, right? Like mm -hmm. you had to do this distance in the day. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you just gotta do it. I mean, your body and your mind is just incredibly flexible to a point yeah, where, yeah. you know, you, you're capable of way more than you think you are. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, um, I mean, like, remember like the, the crazy schedule that we had for like LA, Miami, and then Australia in the span of like a week and a half. Or, yeah. Like when we, we were looking at that before it was happening, we were like, there's no fucking way we're gonna be yeah. able to survive yeah, yeah. this. But by the end of it, we were like, okay, yeah, that was tough, but. I mean, we still did it. Like, Any, anything, it. anything can be handled with, the, with prep. Like, yeah. Literally, it's just all prep. If yeah. you just prep properly for this this kind of stuff, it's mm -hmm. so easy. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, and it's really amazing how um, fast and how many days your body will kind of like, even like by day four, mm -hmm. like I said, like hills became way easier. Mm -hmm. Like I had not had any really, really tough hills before. Mm -hmm. I'd been doing a lot of it on, on Tokyo, which is really flat. Mm. Tokyo doesn't have that many hills. Mm. Um, and also like the exercise bike, you can put the resistance up, but it's not the same. Yes. The resistance the resistance cannot mimic going up a hill. No, it right. is just totally different. Cause you don't feel like you're gonna fall off. You never <laughs> feel like you're gonna fall off the resistance bike. It's just gonna push back. Yeah. Whereas yeah. the hill, it's like, if you don't like Keep cycle going. properly, you're, you, just, you just fall yeah. off your bike. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
and you you know changing gear it's a whole thing and uh it, you know it's it's impressive how even after like three days it becomes so much easier if you mm. just keep going yeah um and, and you get like rapid improvement if you do it every day mm, yeah kind of like, i guess like learning like, yeah like language right like anything really. like anything like if you wanted to get your muscles to be like to actually get like healthy and grow the muscles properly, then you just, you take rest days. Yeah. yeah. And I was definitely not eating enough protein. I just don't know how I could beer, eat that beer. much protein. Just, <laughs> no protein. Beer, beer. Beer, beer. Liquid <laughs> protein. I, I, I tried, who, need, who needs protein when you got carbs, I, man? I, I tried who needs to eat protein, but it was hard enough to eat like calories, let alone like yeah. to get the protein in. I should have taken protein powder mm. with me or something. Yeah. But I just, I just couldn't just I, snort dude, protein. There was powder. so much. There was already <laughs> so much <laughs> stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. I should have like been <laughs> snorting protein. <laughs> All right, let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> just like pounded up on the face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. It's just like you t you put on all of that, and then you got to worry about the stream. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it's just like another added layer of like fuck. Yeah, so you're like mentally tired. You're physically tired. Hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. for actually achieving it. Yeah. Fucking achievement that was awesome. right there. That was fun. Thanks yeah, guys. crazy yeah. achievement. Looking forward to seeing Chris's video and your like edited down video yeah. as well. Meanwhile, yeah. I was sitting on my fat ass playing Xenoblade 3. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> kind of felt kind of felt bad when I saw that I woke up every day, saw Connor doing this, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stream Genshin today. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I streamed Genshin for seven hours. Uh, I just, man, no, just, uh, <laughs> I'm worse. I, I, I did it. Listen. I'm worse. I'm worse than you. At least you were like, yeah, I might, you know, also stream. You know, I, I wasn't even like, I wasn't even like, you know what? I might even stream. I'm just like, no, I'm not even gonna stream. I'm just gonna sit back and hey, just enjoy myself. It's just me. I just like doing like crazy things that. Push the the envelope with you. Yeah. I don't know. Is that the right saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Why? Why is it push the envelope? What the fuck I, is I that? Why? I don't, is that? I don't know. English like, is weird. I don't know. Like I wanted to do something crazy on Twitch. Yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. to have like a big event, and yeah. I wanted to do something that was like you know that hadn't really been seen a lot on Twitch. I know yeah, we've yeah. done it before, but I wanted to do it in like a way that was really unique, gamified. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I just I just wanted to make it hype, mm. and um, I, I like pushing the boundaries of what you can do on live streams, and I yeah. think that, that was like. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know, I'm like addicted to making stuff, I guess. And like that was a fun you're, just, you're addicked to content. You're addicted I to think content. We're, I think we're all addicted to content yeah. in one way, shape yeah. or form. I, you know, yeah. I, I love playing games, but then I'm like, man, you know, nobody in my head, I'm like, man, nobody, re nobody remembers that guy who just fucking played games. <laughs> Unless you're Markiplier, you know what I mean? I don't remember to, that. Be, to be honest, if I feel like if you're not addicted, like if we weren't addicted to content, I don't think we would have lasted this long. Yeah. Cause like that's at the end of the day, that's what it is. Like, like the, the yeah. people who last longer than not are the ones who are like constantly just trying to push themselves to do yeah. bigger and better like, things. You people know? always ask like, you know, if worry that if mm. we're gonna get burnt out or I'm gonna get burnt mm. out. And I'm just like, well, no, I kind of get like sad when I'm not making stuff. Mm. I really feel fulfilled and mm. happy when I'm making stuff. Especially it's, when it's good stuff and it's rewarding. Mm. I, I get burnt out if I just make stuff. I, I always need a constant, this is the next big projects that yep. you mm. are going to be doing and working towards. And I noticed that I think that's the one thing we all have in common where mm. I know what my big, uh, my next big project is. And yeah. I'm sure like you guys, are, like we're, all, we're constantly planning different things both together and now individually as well. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's weird. And I guess that's like, it's, it's great actually uh, having you guys as friends because I see you doing this. I'm like, fuck, now I got to get on my ass and yeah. do something exciting and do, and, and do something and do something. That's what good it is. It's just like, it's just like constantly having the next goal yeah. to reach. And then once yeah. you've so reached that goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, then, and then once you've reached that goal, then there's that new goal. And then there's yeah, that yeah. new goal, new goal, new goal. And it just keeps on cycling. But like- yeah. Your bros just keep you on your toes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah, so It's definitely. like being spotted, you know? He's just like, come on, come on. You can bench yeah. this, bro. Come on, one more. One more way, one, one more way. You got this, you got this. I'm, I'm obsessed with the idea of doing like some kayaking stream. I really want to do a kayaking stream. I'm down for kayaking. Yeah. I just- But you know what's the one thing though that you really have to be careful the kayaking stream. Oh. If you fall off the kayak, oh yeah, 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 yeah. ripperonies. Yeah, like <laughs> Rip I, the stream. Yeah. yeah, your stream is fucked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least with, at least at least you're on land on a bicycle. <laughs> there, there. Like I, I was thinking about how you could maybe have. So like I had to because obviously when it was raining, mm. yeah, uh, I had to kind of have something waterproofed. Yeah, uh, and it was like it worked, but obviously it won't work if you submerge it. Yeah, it's yeah. splash proof. But, but I, uh, I know that <laughs> some people make these plastic housings for the stuff. Mm. And I wondered if you could make a kind of- Well, I mean, there's those like plastic seals. housings for like uh, big cameras, you know, yeah. for like underwater yeah. shooting and stuff. So but I'm you sure need you to have could... the wire 
come out of it kind of somehow yeah, exactly. water suit. yeah so there would have it's to be the whole thing yeah. 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 but the wire length would uh, that, that's, that seems like a technical a lot of challenges there. but uh yeah, you probably need it. to be 3D printed or some shit like that. Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah. But it could be, I would want to do a kayaking stream. Kind of like maybe the same deal. You do that distance. I think yeah. it would be pretty high. Sure. Just kayaking all day. Yeah. Same, the only thing is that it would be super fucking boring kayaking if you, unless you had like a really sick lake. Mm -hmm. bunch of cool you stuff would need to have on. like a really interesting route, yeah. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But dude, kayaking. Kayaking's fun as fuck though. It's, it's awesome, but yeah. I know that like your feet get fucked after a while. Because <laughs> you're just being like in the wet kayak after a while mm, yeah, really measurable. Sure. yeah also just yeah. Permanent, also, you, also permanent your, wet socks right yeah. also maybe your like arms your upper body would just yeah. be yeah, yeah maybe like a day thing i could do it yeah. uh it could be pretty high yeah. i i kind of want to figure out how to do it mm. um maybe someday i'll figure it out yeah i try to do more interesting irl stuff like i had a i had a uh, a theory that you could set it up this way and i never ended up doing it just because i was so tired every day mm. I had the, so the way that the backpack works, you can put like a mic into the back of the camera mm -hmm. and you can put a lap mic. Mm. So I had this big brain idea where I was like, wait, my cable's long enough where if you put the bag in the back of the car and then put a suction cup on the back of the car with a camera mount, you could feed the camera that's in the, the bags in the car, you could feed the camera with the wire mm. yeah. onto the suction cup behind you. You're you wearing a lav mic and then you could be have the car trail you. Really, oh, really, really close by. Like a third person camera. And then you could have literally like a like a third person view of you yeah. with the mic on you <laughs> and it would be streaming. How sick would that look? That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty I thought, cool. I thought, <clears throat> man, that would be so cool to do. That'd be also, like if you that'd be like if you had your regular streaming setup, but it was moving. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. yeah it's literally like much, a, yeah. you know, like the problem is that like you'd have to do it in a place. Like if we would have done it, we would have done it on the first few days. You'd mm. need like a road that was empty yeah. to try mm. it. Also, I just didn't want to fuck around and set it all up. It's, it was such a big hassle. Yeah. And maybe if I prepared more, I could have done it, but yeah. it was a lot of mm. prep, but I thought it'd be a sick idea. Mm. Or you got something for next time. Yeah, yeah. I could try next time if I have more time, mm. uh, if we have like a day where we don't have as much going on. Yeah. But like a lot of the time, Google Maps wouldn't send you down the right route. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Google Maps is so annoying. <laughs> that just didn't. Well, like I, I've, okay. So here's the thing. Google Maps works perfectly. I find in the city, mm. but you go to a country that might not be as well developed or you go to an area that is, you know, not as, you know, a bit more rural, mm. you know, out, 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 out of the city and Google Maps does not work as efficiently as no. you think it, it does it, at all. It would just like, especially when you you click the cycling option. Yeah. It would just like tell you to get off the highway, <clears throat> not highway, like just a main road mm. yeah. for like one minute to go via like around in a field and then mm. join back. And it's like, why? For one minute, it's like, why would you, why would you think I'd want to do that? I'll yeah. just stay on Google's it. Google's like, we know you want the scenic route. <laughs> because it, it, it generally <laughs> wants you not to be on a main road, which, yeah. is, which is good. Cause sometimes yeah. it took us down some really cool Roots, yeah, because yeah. we trusted it. But other times, it would take us down a road and it'd be just gravel, and we couldn't cycle on it, right? Because the bikes, the road bikes. Yeah, I, I remember I, I encountered this problem a lot in uh, Thailand. Yeah. Uh, oh god, yeah, Thailand. Because bad, yeah. <laughs> because what 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 I would do is Dirt you know Google, Google Maps you know works in Thailand, but what counts as a road on Google Maps? Google Maps can't tell you <laughs> the quality of the road. Well, right? Doesn't Google Maps use like Open Maps, and Open Maps is from like I don't know, like government. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know because like what happens is uh, we'd we'd like when I was living in Thailand, me and Sydney would like have a destination. Yeah. Sometimes it would be like an hour away or something. Oh, it'd be like a different town, and go and we'd be on like the highway with signs telling us to lead to this town or the mm -hmm. city that we wanted to go to. And Google was like, no, take take the exit off here. And one time we're like, okay, why is it telling us to take the exit off? Maybe there's maybe there's a shortcut we don't know yeah. about. And then so we went from this very well lit road. We take one exit off and. <laughs> Google leads us to it's, it's, it's the definition of a road was pushed to the limits. Okay. What it led to was not even like concrete. It yeah. was just dirt leading yeah. into a dark forest. Classic right? dirt, classic dirt <laughs> and, road. And there wasn't, we couldn't even go back, but right? Because first time in the country, yeah. first time, yeah. first time. Yeah, because it was like, it was like, a, it was on a mound, right? Mm. It was on a mound. Okay. So we couldn't even U-turn back. So oh, we, we, we were forced to like go into like this pitch black forest. And I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get murdered. This is, this is literally the start of every horror movie <laughs> I've seen in my oh, life. No. You know, you, you follow Google maps and you're like, 
like, oh, okay, what's this? Uh, going a bit to the country? This is where the serial killers live, man. This yeah, is like yeah. Texas oh Chainsaw Massacre all over again. Like, we, we had that though uh, yesterday when me and Nabi went, we were in Shizuoka yesterday for a shoot. Mm -hmm. And like, we were trying to go to this like, you know, cause like for the most part, it's like countryside in Shizuoka. Yeah. And we're like, oh, I want like a really like nice spot to like shoot this part of the video. And so we were like, all right, we'll put it in Google maps. And then it was like, okay, go down this road. And I was like, okay, that's fine. We get to it. For, first of all, it's a one way road in between two houses. Barely can fit the car that we have. And it's not even the right way. <laughs> and the Google maps is like, do it. <laughs> go, there is no other way to go down to your destination. Go down this road right now. And we had no choice because there was like cars backed up. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Literally no other road to get yeah. through this part. I'm like, why are we going down? So what, you want us to like break traffic laws to get to our destination? <laughs> Thanks Google. Yeah, it's so, so annoying. Yeah. It's so annoying. And it's like, and when you try and be like, okay, we can't go down this road. Can yeah. you try something else? They're like, okay, how about you go around the block once and try it again. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, no girl, I don't want to go down this road. I think for all the information they take from us to yeah, make yeah. these maps accurate, they'd at least do a fucking good job. <laughs> Like it's like- right. Well, it's cause not enough people are living there like, for like, this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no information like, to take. Uh, yeah. you, know, for, you know, for the, the comfort of having a map that could tell me where to go. Yeah. I'd like yeah. to think that, you know, you taking everything about me and using that information to yeah. serve ads to me is at least, yeah. you know, at least I get a good map out of it. Like Google's that one mate that's like sitting in the passenger seat being like, yeah, don't worry about it. Just yeah. go down there. Just, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's the quickest way yeah. to go. It's like, are you sure? It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I know this place. I've been here before. Yeah, don't yeah. worry, it's down there. This video is sponsored by Boxer. Huh. Feeling a bit peckish all of a sudden. Do you have anything to eat before this? No, and I'm in dire need to satisfy my hunger before we record this trash taste episode. Worry not, Connor, because I have the exact thing for you. A boksu box. <gasps> Manny, tell me more, Joey. Boksu is our favorite Japanese snack box. They work with family businesses all over Japan and send you a new theme of authentic Japanese treats every single month. And for this month's boksu theme, we have the Otsukimi Harvest Ooh. Meme. Ooh. Otsukimi or Moon Viewing Festival where families gather to express gratitude for a good harvest. Joe, which one do you recommend? Which one, which one should I try out, Joe? Uh, these are actually Ooh, pretty the good. These are some yeah. yaki tomoro koshi umasen, uh, barbecue give me corn some of that. chips. Do you want some? Just take one, just take one, just take one more. Oh God. I don't mean Ooh. to be corny gentlemen, but that's pretty good. <laughs> So if you want to try some rare Japanese snacks and support this channel, then go to the link in the description and use code TRASHTASTE15 for $15 off your first purchase. Back to the show. Well, one thing I forgot to mention is that, yeah, having a car that rides with you is very mm -hmm. OP and cycling. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause you don't have to worry about like water or anything. Yeah. It's all taken care of. You it's can all, just focus. It's all on the back of the car. Shout out to the chants who just do it all themselves. I don't know how yeah. you do it. I just, <laughs> I'd well, their, their backpack is probably, instead yeah, of they, a full they, tower, it's probably yeah, full of true. water. They, they don't have the tech on them, yeah. so they yeah, can yeah, fill true, up with true. actual uh, things needed uh, to uh, to keep their body going, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess so. <laughs> Stopping at Konbini's, and then there's like non in North Hokkaido as well. Yeah, true, yeah. true. Sorry, sorry to talk about just the cycling so much. I guess yeah. I just fucking, all I did was that for eight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I could think about. I'm just, I'm just trying to think like what, I did during those eight yeah. days. It just seems like a blow. Oh, we went to the Cigarettes concert. Oh shit, we did. That was last week. <laughs> what the fuck? A uh, what concert? Cigarettes. We, we went that? to, so Gant and I went to uh, a concert of a band that we both really like, Cigarettes. I can't believe that was last week. Do I know that was last their songs? Um, you might know one of them. Okay. What was that one song that was like really big in like British TV that you told me about? It was Hoppy Potler. Uh, that, that was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think apparently I didn't know this because Gant told me there's like one cigarette song that got really fucking massive because- Japanese band? No, 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 no it's uh, an Icelandic, Icelandic band. band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an Icelandic how, band. How does that song go again? Uh, Hoppy Pot. Yeah. That's, this is the problem with cigarette songs. All the song titles are in Icelandic. Uh, so if you don't know <laughs> the name of the song, you're just like, what was that one song? <laughs> the one that's like, just, uh, the one that goes, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay, and they're like, are you singing the Halo theme? Uh, oh, oh no, it's, yeah, it, it might be like a beta Halo. Yeah, theme. yeah. No, Hoppy Potlo is the one that's like, uh, it's like, Hoppy Potlo. 
No, oh, that's fuck, that's right. not what that's, it's they like. They all sound that like that. That is not what it's like. Uh, they all is sound like that. <laughs> yeah, fucking amazing. Like probably one of the best concerts I've been to in my life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, th I think it was the best concert I, I went to in my life. Yeah. I mean, it was, there are some, I think bands that work better in a live setting. And I think Sigur Ross is one of those bands that I've experienced them now live and I can't imagine experiencing them anything but live. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Cause the, it's kind of like, they have such a very unique style, mm, right? Mm. Cause it's not like, it's not like your typical kind of songs, kind of like Rocky songs. It's very, I don't know. How would you describe it, Joe? You're the music <sighs> guy. I'm having trouble finding it's words. Like I've, I've always said, said to uh, like to people that like Sigurus's music is kind of like, it's like advanced church hymns. <laughs> you get what I mean? <laughs> it's, I kind of get what you It's mean. like, because it's like, it's the feeling of like, when you listen to a church hymn, right? Yeah. You don't have to be religious in any way, but yeah. the sound and the style of a church hymn is like, oh, this is like, I can understand why they play this kind of music in churches because it's like, it's very Holy transcendental. Shit. It's very like, oh. yeah, it's like, religious, you know, yeah. but like, it's very like pure and like transcendental mm, and yeah. like very like, it gives you that feeling of like, oh, you know, this is very spiritual. Yeah. And cigarettes is like that, but like the alpha version of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically it's, I, I, don't, I don't really know how to describe that song. I can just mm. describe what it means to me. And it's every time I hear a Sigur Ross song, it just like, it makes me emotional. It makes me feel things that mm. I can't explain. Mm -hmm. going, to the, going, to the, going to this concert and hearing their songs, I was processing the experience for like a full, like for the entire night after yeah, that song. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get that, I get that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And live show's so good. That you're yeah. Like, yeah, you're well, like, I'm damn, just what like, did I just watch? I, oh, yeah, I, I remember turning to Joey and being like, I'm, I'm still like processing what we what we just did, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, I don't even know it, how it, to describe it It was definitely it right like, it wasn't the kind of like shows where you're like in a mosh pit and you're like freaking out. And then afterwards you're like, damn, that was fucking awesome. That was so hype, hell yeah. It was more like the ones where you just like, you're sitting down quietly, after every song finishes, you're clapping. And then the next one kicks in and you're just like engrossed. Mm, yeah. It's like a full body experience. And yeah. like with some of their songs, like, oh my God, like those like speakers that they had at, in this hall, they were working overtime, bro. Like you could feel this yeah. like, just pulsating through your body. It's just like, <laughs> and you're just sitting there like a 4D movie, just like, yeah. like just taking it all in because you don't know what I else love to that, do. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great. It was, oh my God. Yeah, it was, it was so amazing. I, I mean, like could have been like indoctrinated or something because that yeah. was just like how absorbed I was into this experience. You know, yeah. it was just one of the most, it was the most incredible concert I've ever been to. I. I still am processing it to this day. Yeah, I do not know how to describe beeps and boops. It was very nice. <laughs> hey, 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 it's you know, it's, a, it's lightning in a bottle, man. You yeah. can't explain that. No, it's, it was. It's, I it's, get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, gig, it's, it's, you, it's it's impossible to explain how a gig makes you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I made like a second channel video, like trying to process it, but like even then, it was just kind of like. <laughs> Yeah, the entire time I'm just like, it's so hard to describe without you being there to experience it. Cause yeah. there was one part, I think one of the most powerful parts in this, like, oh, I think it was like, what, two and a half hour gig or something? It was, it was quite oh, a long gig. It was gig. like three hours. Almost three hour gig. Yeah. What made you want to make a video about it? If you couldn't really explain it. Because uh, I don't know. So like one of, I think the most amazing parts about Sigurus's music is that like it, they utilize silence, silence to their advantage okay. to like create this like tension. In their music, yeah. so there was one part in the in the concert where, in the middle of the song, they just stopped playing, yeah. and they were just standing there in silence for about thirty to forty seconds. But the thing you is, like a little fart in the background. It, no, no, <laughs> dude, I've never heard. There was probably what, like, it was full capacity, right? Mm, and this yeah, place yeah. can hold about eight thousand people. Eight thousand people, big hall, yeah. right, in Odaiba. And I've never heard 8,000 people being that silent in my life. Yeah. There was not a single person talking or making noise during this like 30, 40 seconds of silence. It was, and it was I, the most intense awesome. moment. I, I feel like it was longer than 30, 40, 40 seconds, right? Because yeah. you you had, I think, I feel like everyone had the same kind of experience where they stopped the song and you are just like, okay, must be moving on to the next song. Yeah. And then, you know, when someone holds a silence for a bit too long, it starts to become uncomfortable. So they held it past the point of uncomfort <laughs> That you you discovered that it became it went from uncomfortable silence to comfortable silence. Yeah. It was such a fucking surreal experience. It was if if I had to put it into words, it was the loudest silence I'd ever heard in my life. Yeah, definitely. Right? I'm just like that's that's the best way I can describe this because it was one of those moments where you just like kind of forget to breathe. 
And then huh. once the music kicks in, you're just like, oh yeah, that's right. Now I know where I was. <laughs> that's sick. And 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 it's so cool as well because they utilize these like lights in such mm. like cool way. So like during the silence, there's just this like kind of yellow light that's just like pulsating, mm. oh, just awesome. silently. And it's just going on and on and on. They're not moving at all, not a single note. And everyone's just sitting there just like waiting. <laughs> and it was the it was the weirdest feeling. It was so cool. I've never seen any band that's, do that in a live awesome. setting. And I'm just like the the balls to be able to do that. Mm, and everyone yeah. just immediately know exactly what's happening. Being like, yeah. oh, this wasn't like a mistake or anything. This was just part of the show. Yeah. So definitely 10 out of 10 would go again. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, I, Hell yeah. 10, 10 out fucking 10 day. out of 10 yeah. Yeah. easily. And I've been to like a lot of really fucking cool concerts, but like just this one was like, it was more like watching a stage show. If anything, mm. it wasn't like going to go see a band. Mm. It was like, if you, it was like kind of what you feel after you've seen like a life changing movie. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's a life changing movie for you? Well, I don't know. The like Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Being like, God, that was boring. <laughs> Can never look at Batman the same ever again. But like, you know, you know, there's those movies that just kind of like on a personal note that just like viscerally hit you to the point where after that, your, your standard of movies just change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so if like for me, for example, like the first, I remember like the first time I watched like Pulp Fiction, you know, like before that I was like, oh, you know, movies are cool and everything. And then afterwards, there's just like, there's one of those movies where you just watch it and you're like, how do you go up from there? Yeah. You know, and I, and everyone has, you know, a movie or, you know, maybe some people haven't discovered that movie, but yeah, like, I, mean, I feel for no. me, that Cigarettes concert was that but for concerts. Yeah. Okay. So like, I'm afraid to go to my next concert <laughs> because I'm like, uh, because like it might be Just fucking- Just go to a really shit one. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah, it yeah. might be fucking great. It might be a band I've always wanted to see, but yeah. I know in the back of my mind, there's going to be that one little voice that's like, yeah, well, it's not as good as the cigarettes concert, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to be chasing that high for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause I, I, I know what you mean, because I was obviously out there at the concert as well. <laughs> I was there too. I, yeah. I, was, I was there too. I was there too, guys. Gosh, don't forget about me. I was yeah. there. Life-changing concert. <laughs> Guys, what can yeah. I say? My life was also changed, yeah. guys. Yeah. Come on. Man. But okay, do, do you think? Okay, do you think there are films that you experience and you might you might watch, right? And there's a di there's a big difference between <clears throat> films that are basically made for the theater and mm. films that can just be watched anywhere. Because I mm. I feel like I didn't because uh, yeah, yeah. I I didn't really understand the whole like cinematic experience. Mm. It's, it's going to be sound really cheesy, but the f the first fucking movie that made me feel that was fucking Your Name, man. Just like fucking I I know, guys. I know Your Name. Your Name. You was, never you'd never watched a movie for Your Name. No 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 no. This could be improved in the cinema. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. I I I had never seen a movie in theaters that just made me go wow. That was that, that was meant the to fuck be. up that tape. <laughs> for what? me, because for what? me, for me, that was Akira. When I saw when I saw Akira in cinemas when they yeah. redid it for like I think it was like the twentieth anniversary or the twenty fifth. anniversary. what year was this? This was like four or five years ago. Well, you, you, none of you had ever watched a movie before that and thought, "Damn, this would be so good in the movie." No, no. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, because what? I, I kind of, but the thing is I kind of, my excuse for that was because my dad is a massive film buff. He put so much money into like the home surround system. It's still not yeah. gonna be, it's not gonna be the same. It's not, it's not yeah, the but same. Like, I, but, but, but for me, I'm like, this is good enough. Yeah, but but like for, for me, I've, I've, I've the cinema has always been, haha, bigger screen, louder sounds, yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, so the, way, cool. the way you no. view, Connor, yeah, yeah. the way oh. you view music is the way I view films. No, cause it's like your TV is fucked. All the colors and all the shit is wrong. It's not what they, they wanted it to look like. It, it looks exactly the way it's supposed to. Have you, have you tried watching some movies in, on your TV at home? It looks like shit. Uh, most films I watch, I feel, you know, when, know when, 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 when I talk, when, when, when I like talk Soylent, about- It's Silent Green. They didn't okay, know his people. Like, when, <laughs> when, know his people. When, I talk, when I talk about like, when I talk about cinematic experience, I don't mean cool, you know, this would, this experience would be improved by watching in theaters. Cause 90% of the time, okay. Yeah. Okay. It would That's be what improved. I you were implying. Mm. Okay. No, no. Like, are, you, are you saying like your name was the first one that you think I, I have to watch this in the cinema? Where I'm like, this can only be enjoyed no, in the no. cinema. Like to, 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 to me. No, no, no. To, to, to no. me. 
to me, it's, it's something like something like your name, and I feel like what's the newest Mamoru Hosoda film? It's, it's like having oh, a Bell. it's like having a Bell. meal at a uh, an Uber Eats or a restaurant. It's like it, it's it's like always meant to be at the restaurant, and yeah, you can have it at the some, no, not every some film, food, not every some, film. I think I feel like 90, 80 percent of films are just way better in the cinema. No, nah, dude, I watched Weathering with you in cinema when it came out, and then I watched it again at home. Kind of the same experience. Well, I, I, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I can't say, but like, you know, like a Quentin Tarantino film. Like every one of those should be watched in the cinema. If well, you I never watch Pulp Fiction in the cinema. Yeah, I never. Not, Still not one of my favorite films. But yeah. like anyone that comes out now, I'll try my best to watch them in the cinema. Right? Like, I, I, I feel like most films are just so much better in the cinema because it's like it's like the way that they they every single aspect of mm. the the creation process was with that screen and that that you know that size and the the colors and everything was all that. Right, that exact specification. Yeah, it's, it's it's weird because like you know you, you wouldn't change a you know like when they reprint the manga, it's not like different, right? It's on the it's printed the way they want it to be printed exactly when you read it, right? Yeah. But with the TVs, because they all have their own fucking settings mm. and all their own color settings. Yeah, I'm sure you've gone to your friend's house one time and thought, who the fuck did your TV settings? It's like the contrast is fucking ridiculous. Okay, so the well, saturation what if I, is blown. Maybe, out. maybe I'm that guy because I've never thought that. Yeah, they probably just put it. They, probably, <laughs> they, they probably just put it on fucking movie mode and thought that's it. That's for wait, movies. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do people put it any, on anything but the default settings unless they have like a home cinema set? Because I've yeah, never. Yes. Yes. I've yes. always just put it on default. <laughs> oh my I've god. I've never changed my default setting from my Bro, TV. Oh, the default is bad. It's I've so never bad. Noticed. You know that Is some it? some TVs, right? They like add frames. Okay, no, no. Okay, and it's that, like, okay, that that's, pisses me well, off. Okay, okay. That's a different story. That's, I'm, we're but talking your about TV's like, doing this shit. Like all your TVs that, are doing that this That wasn't shit. an issue before smart TVs. I, that, okay, that, <laughs> yeah. that, that was, I noticed that. I was, I was like, why the fuck does this look off? Cause we bought like Every a Every film is a 24 FPS. I'm like, yeah. this looks too real. It's, just like, it's just like, I just don't, I don't subscribe to the notion. I'm like, this, this ga like, gamers have made a mistake. More frames don't always equal better product yeah. guys. Okay. It's I'm like the like, 60 FPS yeah. remakes of anime Like a lot fights. of TVs like, do that. Yeah. They, they, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard, it's push, push like, it no, I get that. Artificial get that. smoothness. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which yeah. just looks wrong. And I, I that that's the only time I've ever but changed. all the colors are fucked too. I've I never noticed I guarantee you, I guarantee you, your colors are fucked on your TV. And when you change them, you'll be like, I'm an idiot. But you don't know because you're just like watching it. Yeah, but I also don't watch movies that often. Yeah, right. If you're not watching movies often, yeah. I, 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 I never. I'm not, watch I'm not, not on even talking. I'm not even talking about movies. I'm talking about any form of media, really. Right. Because like I remember but like your games, your game color is probably wrong. Like your PC monitor. I don't really your, care. Your, your, <laughs> no, you don't. You don't care until you know, and then you're like, God damn it! Like this game was more beautiful because like you can get these devices that uh, point at the screen. Yeah, and, no, and it tells you. Ghost of Tsushima looked beautiful on my default setting TV. Yeah. Oh, 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 but it could have looked. Oh, it could have looked. Oh, even, oh, it could have no, no, looked even more beautiful. Oh. You can get these devices on your PC, right? Because yeah. when you're editing thumbnails, yeah, don't you want to know that the thumbnail that you're editing is like the right color? Cause you might be editing it on your monitor, which is wrong colors. And you're sending this thumbnail out and it has different colors. To yeah, but I'm else. okay because I guarantee the majority of other people who look at that are probably no, no, also no, looking no, at no. it so, through their default so, monitors. So the idea is that if you have your monitor on yeah. like uh, the like d most default kind of the, the flattest color profile mm. um, that, you know, when it gets to an iPhone, when they change the brightness, when it goes to Samsung, they change the brightness that like you don't, you're not like doubly skewing the, the, the messed upness to it, if that makes sense, right? Okay. You don't want it to be fucked on both ends. You mm. want it to be the correct thing on your end. So when it goes to someone else's device that's that's wrong, that it doesn't look completely messed up. Right. Um, Cause I noticed that uh, I used to used to have like one or two of my thumbnails look really weird on some my, my friend's TV. And I was like, huh? Mm. And it was cause my colors on my monitor were wrong. Like it was the manufacturer's default, which is just right. awful, awful. Like I had an MSI monitor. I don't know how they messed up the colors on this monitor so much. It was so bad, right? so, so bad. And it was just like, I don't know how to, what's the right color? I don't fucking know. So you just buy this device, point it at the screen, tells you what to do. I'm, I'm gonna be real dog. I've never done that. <laughs> I've, I've never once noticed. But it's like having it's like having a, a shit pair of pants or something, right? You just don't know it's shit until you get a good pair, right? A lot of the time, I don't that know. That it's just, like you don't know it's bad until to, you replace to, to it. To me, to me, my my you life. You don't know you're cycling like on a shit bike until someone points it out in the comments. That's just how it is. It's like it's like yeah, it'll do the job. Yeah. If you want to, you know, yeah, maybe you want to kind of get it better. 
I mean, I, I, th- I hope I can see color just fine. I, th- yeah. I think I do. I've never, I've, that's, that's, that's red, right? That's purple, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's why we have like this set to like, you know, a certain yeah. color profile so that it looks see, the this same is, on every this device. Is, this is why I'm not a cinematographer or like hate working yeah. with like cameras. Cause I just like, my, my brain it's, just like doesn't process this It's the stuff. same with filming, right? We film in this thing so that when it goes to everyone's fucked up TVs, <laughs> mm. that hopefully because we filmed it correctly, it doesn't look as fucked up on their TVs. Right. Right? No, cause what, okay. Cause you'll notice on some screenshots from when people take pictures of their TVs, sometimes trash taste looks way lighter. Sometimes it looks way darker. I've never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, dog. Dead ass. It's little I'll things. Never notice. I just, I, you know, we just want it to look good. I don't look at the details. In my brain, I'm like, are we recording? Yes or no? If it's yes, good. If it's no, bad. This is like the opposite of beeps and boops, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Point it's being, the bits and bobs. If you make you know, a fucking, fucking movie, it belongs on the big screen. And I can't believe that it took your name and Acura for you to watch a movie and go, ah, yes, big screen, good. What? I don't know. Yeah. Because like there's there's still like, even I, you're, like you're, you're, even, you're telling me even, this you're telling me this james fucking cameron's avatar like was dog shit on a tv that movie was only watchable on a cinema like experience also it was pretty it was a mid movie even a movie well. like that that was like mid there's so so much better okay, on like because, the cinema because here's here's the thing right here's the thing yeah i'm not i'm, I'm trying to find a way to describe this because you know, watching, let's say, OG interviews of like Steven Spielberg and, you know, hearing some directors mm. talk about f- the art of filmmaking mm. and, you know, cinema and everything. They'd always talk about the magic of cinema, mm. this, this feeling. Ma- I and I'm just like, I, I'm like, I'm like, growing up, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Magic of cinema? <laughs> Bro, it's- well, this because is- we have like a generation of people who don't go to the cinema. This is just a marketing point. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you're just trying to sell tickets. Just tell me you're trying to sell <laughs> tickets, bro. Because you're trying to tell me you sell cinema tickets. Cinema tickets got too expensive. Like yeah. going to the cinema is expensive. Like yeah, it's, it's not like, yeah. it's like, you know, who the fuck wants to pay to go to all this shit all the time? Mm, like, yeah. I could just watch it at home for free. Yeah. And it's I'm, 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 what I'm saying is watching your name. I'm just like, oh, I get it. That's oh, okay, the magic okay. of cinema. Yes, I get yes. it now. Because like, I remember when your name came out, everyone was just like, oh, silent voice is better. Silent voice is better. And mm. I'm just like, well, you know, technically I think silent voice has is, has a better plot, you mm-hmm. know, and you know, better written characters. But if you're gonna tell me which film I'd rather watch in cinemas, mm. well, silent voice is basically an extended TV program versus your name, which is, is I think a, a story that was made to be displayed in theaters. Yes. Whereas, Silent voice. I think you, you know, the enjoyment obviously will be increased in theaters, but I don't think you're losing too much by watching it on your TV or something like no, that. You know, no. that's that's kind of what I mean. That's kind of what I'm saying. Mm. Where there are some films that make you feel this magic of cinema, and I thought it was just marketing bullshit. <laughs> There's a lot of films where you feel like. Yes, this had to be experienced this way. Yeah, and like uh, ever since then, there's been like a few more films, like especially like seeing the Avengers in cinemas as well. Yeah. Mm. That was that was something that I think lost, loses his edge, not being experienced with everyone else at the same time mm. in cinema. Sorry, Joe, you know, you've, you've missed the boat, Joe. You've missed the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not that I was gonna catch that boat anyway, yeah. but. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I think maybe it's just cause I, I, you know, I go to the cinema a lot and I enjoy it. And mm. I, I really, I, I treasure that experience a lot. Right. And I, it means a lot to me. See, but like, that's the thing. It's like, for you, that's cinemas. For me, that's live yeah. shows. Yeah. Right. It's like, it's just same, same, same yeah. idea, just different execution. Because to I, me, what it sounds, it, it's like your, it, to me, it's like the same way of being, as being like, just listen to the album. Why do you got to go and see them live? Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? right? Like, it's like, it's like, I would never, uh, like, it's, it's like, of course, 99% of music. Yeah, go it watch sounds it live. way yeah. better in a yeah, live setting. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, unless they like auto tune to shit and they well, sound. Yeah, but I don't listen to that. No, I know. No, no, like, yeah, yeah. The majority of mm. music or media is there's a there's a yes, a, of course, a, the best way that you can enjoy. Yes. Why, why? Why is why is things enhanced by it being live? You know, whether it be by fucking Twitch or like live shows as well. I, it's it's the communal communal aspect. Feel like you're in on it. That's, that's it, what's you, you know, you you hear about people talk about live shows, and mm. you know, uh, you know, something you say is like, oh, you have to be there. You have to be there. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds cheesy, but like you've like, when I go to live shows, I find it so hard to verbalize the feeling and the experience yeah. I felt within that live show versus experiencing that same piece of media, that same music, that same yeah. show on a like, CD it's, or like, or, or something else. And I'm well, like, what, what, yeah. what, what, what sets it apart? I mean, I def, I mean, in, when it comes to like music stuff, like I feel definitely some genres just 
work better in a CD mm. setting, obviously, compared to a live show. Or like they're not Whale that much ASMR. different. Well, yeah, I mean, like I guarantee, like a lot of ambient music is probably going to sound and feel the exact fucking same, right? Live yeah. or not. But like, but I then, think I think when like musicianship is involved with like multiple people or even like one person, mm -hmm. and just like the energy you feel in that room that you're like, oh, I'm experiencing this with everyone else. Yeah. And I can see the magic being created on stage, yeah. like in person. You know, it's the difference between like, I don't know, uh, <laughs> fucking seeing a painting on a wall versus actually watching the artist paint that same painting, right? Yeah, like you'd yeah. much rather see the process being done mm. rather than just experiencing the result. Yeah, right? because I, every live show I've been to, I'm sure you can agree with this as well. It's mm. like, yeah, it's it's been way better live, seeing it live. Oh yeah. Especially like musicians yeah. and stuff like that, right? Especially if they're good musicians, like, yeah, a hundred percent. Maybe it's, maybe it's like part of the brain that's like mob mentality, right? Where it's mm. like, you just, you feed off the crowd and being yeah. a part of it. Yeah, and definitely. Kind of being in that energy, mm. you yeah. feel like you're, oh my it's, God, I'm, I can feed off everyone else getting hyped. And I feel like it all mm. just builds. Yeah. We're, we're weird creatures. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think lions get hyped about other lions. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think they get like- Oh, oh no, man. They seem to hype each other up. Like, I, I yo, we're not hunting the fucking yeah, deer, yeah, I man. I mean, they hunt it, but I don't know if they get like, they're feeding off each other's <laughs> Bro, energy. Bro, when, they, when they spot that elk in the distance, they're like, lads, <laughs> lads. I think it's like a quirk of our evolution. We're like yeah. that into the idea of being a part of something big. Well, yeah, it's the difference between, you know, a caveman dancing around a fire on his own versus a caveman <laughs> dancing around the fire with other cavemen. Well, yeah, yeah, it's like, I, if I miss a, game, a League of Legends, whatever game, or a football game, mm. which I don't watch. Um, yeah. You know, I, I'm never gonna go back and watch the VOD. I don't, I don't, no. I don't no. care. I'm like, I wanna, I wanna feel- You wanna be I there. I wanna be there yeah, live the time, yeah. know yeah. that everyone's losing their collective shit yeah. when something yeah. crazy happens, right? That's part of the yeah. fun. That's yeah. why like, yeah, like as much as I love the live show experience and watching musicians do stuff live, that's why I very rarely, unless it's like my favorite band, I very rarely watch like live DVDs or like live footage. I hate listening to live concerts and CDs. I, I just- Yeah, well, it depends how they're recorded. Obviously, if it's on a fucking iPhone, then it's gonna sound like dog shit. Yeah. yeah but yeah. like some some professionally recorded like yeah, live guess, albums yeah, and I stuff like so. that, they can sound really good, but it's like, I'm only listening to that because that's the best that I have because I wasn't there when it was actually yeah, recorded. Yeah. I, I don't know. But okay. if I was there when it was recorded, I'm not going to listen to it again. I actually think live recordings, okay. Okay, here's, uh, you've just unlocked like a memory, I guess, where mm. if I have the choice to download a studio recorded song mm. or a live recorded song where mm. I can hear the audience reaction, yeah. I always go for the live recorded. Oh. Really? Yeah, because I'm just like, damn, it just makes the music sound better. And I don't know why. <laughs> I, I agree, it's like a different energy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I just like the idea that it's kind of like an art piece where it's like you have designed the perfect Thing that you think this is mm, not yeah. can you perform it every perfect every time or whatever yeah right. but I mean, maybe the roughness of performing it live adds more character to oh, it. Yeah, I, I, th I think it does hearing you know not sometimes you you hear like an offbeat note or like there's something's slightly uh, off tune or something like that you know like maybe a voice uh, crack. Baby, I, 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 I feel like that adds to the music to me and yeah. hearing the perfect studio version isn't always like the best experience for me. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never really thought about that. Yeah. When, mm. when when I try to like on my Spotify playlist, I try to put as many live performances oh, really? as I, I can. I try to put none. I hate them. <laughs> Yeah, you I do? think I think as long as like maybe with some exceptions, like some live albums that are like exceptionally well recorded. No. Yeah. Other than that, I don't normally listen to live versions because it's like I would rather listen to this actually in yeah. person. Like, I don't want to oh, live man. vicariously through a crowd I'm oh. listening through Spotify. No, no, okay. I, okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's, not that it's, it's not that I don't want to be there. Of course I want to be there. Yeah. But like, if I, if I, if I, choice, if I yeah. have a choice, if yeah. I could cope, I'd be like, I, I, if I close my eyes, I can pretend I'm there, okay? I can pretend I'm there. I say this knowing that like Daft Punk had a, that live album, which was sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. But that, that's because that was so well recorded. That was right? really and it was well also recorded. completely different to anything else. They yeah, had it was also mashups. Yeah, as well. it's mashups. Like that right? was that was crazy. But if it's the same song as the yeah, studio yeah. version, I'd rather listen to the studio. version. If I can have around the world yeah. without people cheering in the background, I'll just take that one. Yeah, but oh, the, ma the mashup makes version, the song so much the more ma hype. The though. mashup version is sick though. When yeah, they look at that. yeah, the, because it's different. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the Daft Punk live <laughs> album was okay. That's an exception. <laughs> that was, yeah. that one, uh, that was but that's just mashups. It wasn't the same song. Yeah, because if the contents, the only time I would I would listen to a live album is if the content is something that I can't get off any studio. Mm, mm. 
then then it's like then that's yeah, just like yeah. new music, yeah, right? Then like, so it's like hell yeah, I, and I'll then just the do, hype kind of builds into, and then the, the hype kind of builds into it, right? Because it was built off of that. But if it's see, the exact same song, I'd rather just go to their concert. Yeah. See, to to me, the crowd, just by having a crowd there, you're adding like an extra we layer. Should, we should have a crowd trash taste episode. That would be it. We should just have like Can we, we need a live studio audience. <laughs> Trash takes is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Shout out to our live tour, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's essentially what the tour is going to be. Come, come see our live we need tour. A, we need to start the tour. We need to start every tour with the just some done guy. The this time's out. Yeah, but like, but like, if we do another tour, just every time we just got to start it off with this This show is performed in front of a live audience. I'll do that. I'll be the guy. Yeah. I'll just do it. Like, Introduce slap bass. Yeah. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird how just adding an audience to something just makes mm. it incredibly more hype for me. It's it's like ev does. everything except for sitcoms. I fucking fucking hate like <laughs> Where's the water? <laughs> I absolutely hate when sitcom do you remember this when sitcom went through it like it's canned laughter phase and it sometimes it wasn't even canned laughter. Sometimes there was an actual live studio audience. I like to argue that's still happening. Is it <laughs> still happening? Yeah, the best one, the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. yeah. That's not still gone going, is it? Is that I thought I Big Bang Theory is still not gone. I'm going. sure though, there's still, I'm sure though, there's is it still, still- Are they still making episodes? No, 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 it, it ended. Yeah, no. that's what I thought. Yeah, that's but what I'm, I like, thought. I'm sure there's still a bunch of sitcoms we just don't know about that have canned laughter included into it because now that's just like a staple of sitcoms now. Did Frasier? Yeah, yeah. Frasier had it. it have Friends, it Malcolm Friends in the Middle. Like, no, Malcolm in the Middle no, no, Malcolm didn't, didn't have it. Oh, really? Yeah, no. yeah, it didn't have it. Also, wait, what's the one I'm thinking of? Uh, two and a half men. Malcolm Middle, sorry, yeah, two and a half men did. Malcolm, yeah, two and a half Malcolm men, Middle yeah. was amazing. What's what's yeah. the most popular sitcoms nowadays? Because you know, I, I I look at sitcoms now. And I'm like, Bro, you know, I never, I always sunny. I that barely ever watch sitcoms. Probably, uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. That doesn't have canned laughter. No, it yeah, yeah, because yeah. because I I've, I've, I feel I'm like Brooklyn Nine Nine is very very popular. Yeah. Mm. Am I crazy? Is that the most popular one? I don't know. I'm not what's sure. Can we have Google it? All right. Most what's successful it? sitcoms. <laughs> Or what's the most popular one most right now? Most popular. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the list and I don't even know any. Yeah. Yeah, because like I remember, you know, back back in the day, we'd have things like Friends. Yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, mm. right? You know, Friends and um, like Frasier and mm. other like super mega yeah, popular, super mega popular sitcoms like that. And you know, not to say that it weren't funny, but I, I it seems like sitcoms now are going through a phase where they've just removed the canned laughter. I'm, mm. And I'm like, thank fuck. Thank yeah. God for that. Because I feel it was like such a rare occasion where adding canned laughter to a sitcom actually enhanced the comedy. Like in my head, I think the only two shows that I thought were like genuinely watchable and funny at times that had canned laughter was probably Friends and IT Crowd. Like other than those two shows, I'm just like, it's just, it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's mocking. Oh, yeah, where it's IT like, crowd, please yeah. laugh now. You know, it's like- I actually, that's the reason I didn't like IT Crowd. Really? IT Crowd was that one show, everyone's like, fuck, this is, this is amazing, this is so funny. It's really I'm, good. I think it's really <sighs> funny. Really I, just, I think it's one of the rare exceptions where it was like the comedy itself was actually so funny in a lot of episodes where I could ignore the canned laughter. Right. You know, but like there's a lot of shows like say like Big Bang Theory where it's like the jokes are like subpar at best. And yeah. then the, it's like the canned Presumably. laughter is like, laugh now. Where it's like, it's instructing you when to feel emotion. And I'm like, no, that's not how comedy works. No, like, that's just like the thing that I could not stand about canned laughter and why I couldn't get into the IT crowd is because mm. what canned laughter does is that it fucking messes up with the pacing of the comedy or the show. Right. Because people have to pause. It's literally say a joke, pause for laughter. Right. And and, and it, you're basically subconsciously telling people, okay, this is when to laugh, mm. right? Whereas when I see something funny and happening in real life, you don't fucking pause for laughter. When I'm not pausing every time. Yeah. Sometimes, cracks. sometimes we do. Sometimes okay, we do. well then what about like every like stand-up comedy show? Every stand up I, that's also a big reason why I've never been like <laughs> fan you of stand-up. Stand you don't like stand-up comedy? I'm not a fan of stand-up oh, comedy. Really? Yeah. I love stand-up comedy. Yeah, I'd much rather watch stand-up special over any sitcom, to be honest. Yeah. Because like uh, for one, it's not canned laughter, it's real laughter. Yeah, it's real, laughter. It, it is real laughter. But agree? but there's also they still do that thing where like a lot of their jokes are designed where they would say a punchline and then they would pause to leave enough space for the crowd to hopefully laugh yeah. at the joke, right? And I feel in a lot of like really good stand-up shows. I mean, I'm no fucking stand-up, uh, you know, expert or whatever. But like, I've seen enough where like I've noticed a pattern where a lot of the best comics they purposely f make the joke flow to the point where 
that pause that they add between a punchline and the next thing they're gonna say enhances yeah. the comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, and I feel like that's no different to how like shows like IT Crowd or Friends did it, yeah. where like the the joke is usually structured around the pause. But like, there's a lot of shows like say Big Bang Theory where it's just like it doesn't really work because of the flow of the conversation. It just really seems unnatural. It's, I have this weird relationship with stand-up comedy yeah. actually, because it's it's been like this way my entire life where, you know, with canned laughter and with, you know, being filmed in front of a live studio audience. Mm. If I feel like they are telling a joke, my subconscious brain just goes, you are playing a you laugh, you lose challenge right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so you like the dry humor. I, oh, well, yeah, I fucking love dry humor. Yeah. British. I, I, I'm British. I, 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 I am British. I also like dry humor, but yeah. I, I, the IT crowds are my favorites. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. Okay, I'm, but then here's the question. Have you ever gone to see stand-up comedy live? I haven't, no, I okay. haven't, yeah. That's good. I, That's I feel the one where it's like the live aspect makes it a million times. I, I can, I can, I can, yeah. uh, I can, I can see that. Yeah. Because when you're in an audience, then you kind of want to laugh. Yeah. I've never asked this, are you guys musical guys? Do you guys like musicals? I like musicals. Yeah. I enjoy, I wouldn't say I'm a musical guy. Mm. I'm not like an I, expert, but I li I've seen a lot of musicals. Yeah, so I've, I've never been that guy who's like gone out of his way to go see mm -hmm. musicals. Mm. But every time I have, I've just had like a brilliant time. Don't really like musicals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna lead on being like, I love musicals, nah, let I'm, me talk about it. I don't like musicals. You know what, any musicals? There's always that one. There's yeah, always because that my one. my hands down enough. my hands down favorite will always be Rocky Horror Picture. I thought you were gonna. I was worried you were gonna say like Les, Les Miserables. Les Miserables. That's, that's, no. that's, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> that's mine. Oh. <laughs> Is that the only one you've watched? No, I've watched uh, two. <laughs> okay, I haven't liked every. <laughs> I uh, I've watched that. I've watched Book of Mormon. Yeah, that's yeah. a well, great musical. Great musical. Yeah. I haven't uh, seen any. Watched. Actually. Watched. I hate them on movies. Well, that's probably what <laughs> oh. I hate musicals and movies I as well. I hate when they I, sing. I hate when they sing. I don't want to see, I want to see a story. I want to fucking hear them yeah. sing. I think, I, I think again, the only musical movie that I really enjoy was Rocky Horror. I love plays. I yeah. love watching plays yeah. live. I hate watching people sing live. Like, I, like yeah. not in like a concert setting. Huh. I actually I know, like, just... I, I hate musical in film forms, you know, I heard musicals in oh, film form. So annoying. But <laughs> I, I like musicals when it's in stage form. That's actually the only times I've ever mm. liked it. Um, I, I can appreciate how like how talented and how, you know, how much work goes into it. Mm. You know, yeah. It's very demanding, but I just don't really like it. Yeah. I, I love plays. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, plays th I think I think I know I, I think I understand your hate for like musical or like musical numbers in too many beats piss and boops. It just feels like it like rips you out of the like the flow. Right. No, I get that. But I, get I that. think I think that you feel that way because for the most part, the storyline itself is like very serious and it's told in like a cinematic yeah, way. Yeah, and, like, and then all of a sudden it like cuts to a musical, right? Yeah, Which yeah, is just yeah. like a polar opposite. But that's why I think Rocky Horror was such a great movie because right. that storyline does not take itself seriously okay. the entire time. So it feels less jarring when mm. it goes into a musical number because the non-musical parts are just as fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So like, but like, that's another big reason why I like, I mean, among many reasons mm. why I like the Cats movie fucking sucked, right? Yeah. Because like for one, it looks horrible, mm. but two, it's like a serious story, mm. right? That just looks goofy. Yeah. And so that goofiness is just enhanced when it goes into a musical number. Yeah. Which sucks because the, if you see Cats like on a live stage, <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It? It's, it's such a great Let's musical live. But like, which is why I was so, I mean, which is one of the many reasons why yeah. I saw the trailer to the Cats movie and I'm just like, oh God, why did you do this? It's, it's so bad. It's like, it, it's like, it's like seeing the trailer to like the worst live action anime film you've ever mm, seen. Yeah, it was really, really bad. It was, it sucked, <laughs> it was horrible. What about like films that have been turned into musicals? Have you ever like experienced that? I, I heard the Back to the Future one was okay. It was a Back to the Future musical? It was Back to the Future musical? Okay, recently. There was a Back to the Future one. And apparently it was pretty good. I saw the Death Note musical. Uh, that, that sounds fun. How that was, was that? Uh, <laughs> was that, that was uh, <laughs> No, don't write my name in the book. That was the, that oh, was very, that was, I, I felt like I was on drugs while I was watching that show. I'm like, this is not a real thing I'm watching mm, because it's yeah. like, again, going back to that whole like, adding musical numbers in a very yeah, serious storyline. Yeah. Like you can't get more serious than a Death Note storyline, right? Yeah, and then yeah. all of a sudden light just like busts into this musical number of how he's <laughs> oh. gonna kill every criminal in the world. Oh I'm just like, I want ah. to kill them all. All right, I, I knew you were a psychopath character, but now you sound even more like actually, a psychopath you, 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 know, you know what? I can actually kind of see it. 
Yo, yo, you, you, you hear L's theme? You know yeah, the fucking do 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 do, and you, you think that's that's a fucking fat beat? You know you, yeah. But like that. Okay, I understand if you're in a musical setting, you hear the L's theme, and then it like busts into a trap beat, and then they just start dancing live on stage. Bro. But that's not what happened. Bro, L's theme goes so hard. Are you kidding me? That that fucking moment where the guitar kicks in, yeah. bro. That, that that was made for a musical, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's a it's a really fascinating. I actually really want to go see more like anime, mm. like musicals, yeah. just because it's one of the most unique entertainment. They had a Cells at Work one as well. I remember that. Yeah, there was a Prince of Tennis one as well. There was a free one. Uh, they did a lot. <laughs> they did yeah. My Hero Academia. One. Uh, My Hero Academia, Rurouni Kenshin. They did one as well. I don't know why. And I'm just I don't, like, I don't oh, think actually, every anime can work actually, as a musical. You know what movie I like? There's musicals in it. Mm. Well, the original uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. That was good. That's really good. Does that have musical numbers in it? I can't. The Gene Wilder one. Yeah. That's Does that right. have a musical number in it? It has yeah, musical like, numbers in it. Like oompa, Oh, oompa, oh oompa, yeah. Oompa, oompa, oompa. I guess, yeah. I guess. Has some, yeah. other, has some other moments where it's yeah. kind of musical-ish. Yeah. Really. Kind of, yeah. I wouldn't say it's traditional, but, but yeah, I like again, that. I think that, the reason why helped. that worked is because the story is just so ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. That it just matches that world. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I think so. Where it's like, you know, Death Note. You, you guys watched any like <laughs> traditional plays live? I was actually gonna say, like, I, I tell you what, mm. this weird rabbit hole I've fallen down in recently. Mm. Uh, I've been watching like clips of Rakugo. Oh, Rakugo is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rakugo is like a traditional style of Japanese storytelling. It's mm. it's stand up. It's original stand up comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's huh? it's like Except OG they're not stand- standing up. Yeah, they're literally like <laughs> they're sitting down. You, you you take stand up right, and you just restrict basically everything. So. <laughs> You're not allowed to like walk around. You have to sit down in one tiny spot and all you have as a prop is a fan and that's it. Yep. Uh-huh. And using just that, they have to convey this story, which isn't always funny. Sometimes it's like serious story, but that's that's all you have to use to like huh. convey the story. And the sit reason- down comedy. Yeah, if sit- there's stand up comedy, <laughs> Rakugo is sit down comedy. This is comedy. sit down comedy. Yeah. But the reason I got into it was because uh, I've been, I had to read like Akane, uh, is it Akane Banshi? Banashi? Uh, Akane Banashi, which is like a new Shonen Jump a manga. Oh, the one. Yeah, about yes. Rakugo. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, that got me really interested to be like, okay, yeah, I know how they portray it in manga and everything, mm. but how is it actually looking in real life? Mm. And I've never just like appreciated just this fucking, it really is like an art form of storytelling mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. with just like such, you see with like such subtle changes in expressions and mannerisms, they like these Rakugo performers are able to just absorb you into this story, into mm. this world with just like very subtle changes in their face and just their mannerisms. And mm. I'm like, this is fucking incredible. Like I should not be this invested in a story where this guy's just mm. sitting down with playing around with the fan. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I it's, didn't think cool. it's almost like, it's weird. It's almost like, cause I've, I've been to a Rakugo show before cause my <laughs> grandma's really into it. Mm. Um, and it was really weird because like, even if you don't fully comprehend, like say the butt of the joke or <laughs> the point of the story. Is that, is that yeah. intentional, the butt it's, of the joke? Yeah, the butt of the joke. <laughs> like, you know, the, like the, 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 the joke. <laughs> Even if you don't comprehend like the joke yeah. or the, the meaning behind the story or whatever, yeah. like it's still just enthralling to watch, yeah. especially yeah. if it's a really good performer. Yeah, yeah. To just sit him sit there. And it's like, he's just like, writing a book in front of yeah. you. Yeah. And you you can fully envision everything he's saying and just get like mm. engrossed being like, so so what happened after that? Yeah. You know, it's it's like when you go to like a fucking family reunion and you just have like that one uncle who's just really good at storytelling. <laughs> and it's uh, like, I might not even care half the time yeah. about what the actual story is, but I just want to keep listening. Yeah, it's it, kind of it, like that. It kind of brings you back into that zone where you're a kid and your parents will like read you like story time books mm. or whatever. Mm. And you're like, oh, well, what happens next? What happens mm. next, you know? And yeah. it's just, it kind, of, kind of like that same feeling but just as an adult and uh yeah never would have like got into it if not for like anime and manga and it was yeah. just like i'm surprised it was that one and not rakugo shinju that got you into it <laughs> okay because okay, like I, th- I think uh i, I watched rakugo shinju and that's i felt more focused on the drama aspect yeah of things, mm. where this is more like okay let's take rakugo and just shonen shonen 
shonen if shonen fire yeah. shonen fire I, yeah. I was trying to make a word out of it but it's just like this 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 actress who this performer who wants to be the best rocco performer of all time and you know the do they have performer. like power ops <laughs> <laughs> no they have like training arcs though okay, oh, yeah. okay. like crocodile basket yeah, 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 like yeah, fucking, yeah. he can rotate his stand at 360 degrees in 0.1 seconds basically that's how to get like i can throw the fan I, up I, and I, levitate midair yeah, i gave takeshi hemorrhoids now he has to become a stand-up comedian like, like no he has to like <laughs> slightly lift his butt up <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it enhanced the story. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so that was like, I would love to see a Raku performance live because Hell if yeah. I got that engrossed watching a YouTube video, which is normally I hate watching what live performances on mm. YouTube, then I, I would wonder what it would be like being in that room mm. and just hearing, yeah. hearing the performer actually do it. Yeah. That's that's the kind of the same with like kabuki or like normal. Yeah, you don't always need to understand everything. Stuff like that. Yeah, 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 you don't, yeah, yeah, honestly. It's I, like, I, I speak English and I watch Shakespeare and I didn't know what was happening, no, but yeah. I had an amazing time. Yeah. I, I, I think that well, if you go to London, you should watch, try and look see if there's a Shakespeare performance. I, I want to watch a Shakespeare performance theater. live. I've never seen like a Shakespeare story live. Dude, before, in the like Globe Theater, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, unless you're standing or a pole's blocking your way. Right. There's some seats that are sold as like a pole that's blocking your view. Because it's traditional. Because it's it's literally a replica. Because so the like original you just one, have to like kind of the, fucking you do literally, this you, Yeah, you literally have to just the whole time. Oh, wow. It's Sometimes some, awesome. some traditions shouldn't be kept. Well, no, so, 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 <laughs> yeah. so the building- so, no, tradition. No, no. so the building burnt down, right? And yeah, they, yeah. they remade it like yeah, one yeah. to one. And yeah, if you want to stand in like the pit, you stand there for like four hours <sighs> standing below the stage, looking at the stage, because that's how so you, get, you get the peasant experience. You literally get the peasant um, you're, experience. Except you're paying for it. Yeah, it's very cheap though, down okay. on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's All really right. really affordable, these things, unless you want the like really I, good I seats. Thought, I thought to myself, I've been in enough mosh pits while I'm standing off for hours at a time where I could probably do that, but like, it's kind of like being in a mosh pit, but not moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good though, you should go. It's just like this. Well, but- the, the only problem is that like, they only have them like, oh, like th- th- three, four times a month, and they're always right. at like, they're always booked. Yeah, uh, and it's it's never the Shakespeare story you want. Right. I got super lucky one time and I got Hamlet. Yeah, oh, nice. my favorite one. Um, but every other time I've been, it's been like one of the Shakespeare ones that I, I don't really like as much. So yeah, I think like, I would only really be interested in going to see like my favorite one. Which What's your favorite one? Macbeth. Macbeth is good. Yeah. Uh, we, we I, like, had uh, I like the Tempest as well. Tempest, Tempest is, is good. good. Uh, a few other ones I like mm. as well. Really yeah. do that classic. God. Yeah, but like definitely going to that Cigars concert made me miss live performances mm, yeah. and going to see live performances so much where like, I mean, obviously worst timing to like plan my next live show because I'm leaving in we like are five the live days. Show. Yeah, we are the live yeah, show. We are the live show. <laughs> We're gonna go do a live show. <laughs> well, like, well, technically you're getting a live experience, Joe. You're just yeah. uh, on the other side of the fence. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, true. I'm just like, can you record for me so I can like watch it later? <laughs> but hey, look at all these patrons though. Wow, amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> wow, amazing. I hope, I hope sorry, sorry you guys can't enjoy I, the live. Uh, this is this is not trash taste live, but uh, no. hopefully one time we can enjoy a live show. Yeah, maybe you can come day. to the After Dark streams, that's live. Yeah, that's as close as you're gonna get. That's the closest you're gonna get if you missed out on the tour. <laughs> but uh, hey, if you'd like to join the Patreon and support the show, come over to Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And yeah, follow After Dark. There's your live experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I guess that's it for this week. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.